We should do a recap. Someone should recap. I got it. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll allow it. Listen. I'm not fighting you for it. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Here we go. We're in the ocean. There's sirens. There's a there big tunnel. There are sirens. There's no, they're harpies. They're different creatures. There there's are harpies. Sarpies. So there's a bunch of herpes <laughs> up in the sky. <laughs> All right, everyone, mute your phones. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I want to hear the story. <laughs> All right, so we're on I'm our excited. way. To, we're on our way to the last or the next tower uh, to destroy these gods. And um, there's a bunch of bird harpies in the sky, and they start singing. And uh, about 30 or 40 soldiers just start jumping off the bridge. Accident or almost off jumped the off the... Off the ship. Off the... Yeah, off the ship. That's and they right. were pirates, not soldiers. Get your story straight. Yeah, man. What's going on with me today? I'm so, <laughs> I'm so good at this, usually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, um, like... Temujin gets a vision with Ozagon. He's like, hey, I can help you out. Uh, you guys are really late, but uh, it's, there's still a chance. Maybe I can awake another god and the 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 sea god or the, what was her name? So the mother is awake and so he decided to call in reinforcements from Procon. Right, right. So there's two so gods awake. Dargoth right now. and Procon. And they start going at it and they're huge. They're like titan titans, right? They're just they raise out of the sea. They're going at it. We didn't see the one that came to save us because we went down a, a world world pool. A, a, a roar. A a roar. roar. Say roar. 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 How do you say roar? Roar. 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 What? Roar. Yeah. Roar. roar. Like or roar. It has nothing to do. It's roar. Roar. Yeah. No. That's not anything like what's happening now, though. I know. Okay. <laughs> what's happening right now? <laughs> that I was feel like completely I'm unrelated. A stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Burnt toast. Burnt toast. <laughs> so anyway, get down there, and we, we need a burnt toast emoji. There's this. Uh, what did you call him? Like, is he is the octopus or the? Oh, you mean the weird the big like guy. What was he? Uh, this guy? This guy. Yes, that guy. Uh, I don't know. I called him Leviathan because that's the stat block that I was basing him off of. Okay, so he but wasn't a Kraken. It was a Leviathan? Mm, Same move, right? It was a Kraken. I don't know. Anyway, put him in front of the camera. Okay. Ryan. Ryan. With all the other bad news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do we want these things? The cowardly Stop Ryan. Stop painting these, Brian. Tomat was all ready to fight this guy, right? Cowardly? By the what way, the that fuck, was a bad dude? idea. That was not a fight you're supposed to win. Uh, we could have fought it, uh, but the cowardly no. dwarf decided to use magic and banish him. So we didn't have to fight that thing. So I we went in life, instead. Jerk. Instead, we went in. Uh, we looted the first room, which we got some trinkets, and it was awesome. And then uh, we go in, and there's some like there's this is a water based tower. So we're going across this catwalk with. Uh, water on each side, and shark people start coming up, right? And so we slaughtered them. Oh, we man, slaughtered we these slaughter shark them. people, right? Yeah. Poor shark people. Um, we yes. go into a next room, and there's two, or there's many bodies hooked up, kind of like Matrix style, right? Hanging, and uh, we chop them down. Uh, we wake them up. Two of them. And uh, a girl and a guy, or an Adam and an Eve, if you want to. Go that I forgot route. their names. Do you guys have that separate point? <clears throat> I think I gave up. I'll let what? Brian write them down. What? The names of the two people that you guys found. The, the sort of elves? Yeah. Oh, yep. We have... Kermit the Frog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I wish to reduce Find my elf in a Matrix <laughs> battery tank, Neldor Miratar, yeah. and Thrain her. Yeah, and Merlarha. Should have picked easier names, I don't know. dude. Picking lots of there's lots of things written down on that section. Okay. Do you know what all those things were? No. Okay. Neldor and Merlarha, I think, were the two elves. I don't I don't know why I wrote Neldor Miratar. Neldor Thrain had two names. Her. Hmm? I don't know what Thrainer is. 
Train her. Train her. Train her? Trainer, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sheet of paper over here yesterday. You had a sheet of paper. Oh, here it is. Oh, I was moving shit around. Yeah. Right down there. So we save these elves, and they're like, oh, what's going on? Save us. Help us. What's going on? And uh, then that's when the battle two started, and this icky that's sludge stuff started attacking us, and... Uh, oh, we yeah. didn't do very well against them because they were they were we had to roll con saves against these these beasts. I think and, it was wisdom saves or right? wisdom saves, and we couldn't move. There were a couple different saves. Strength, <clears throat> it was first was a strength of strength save or a strength, and then a wisdom. A wisdom. I'll look it up. I think it was. It doesn't matter right now. It will real soon. It, sh- it sure <laughs> will. <because laughs> What's real soon? We're in paradise, dude. Yeah, that's ever. right. We're in paradise sure. because we were sure. losing this battle. Uh, and then Axlander used his rod of security to transport us to this pocket dimension that resembled Mechanus, and it's this great mansion, right, Alex? It's like a mansion, or it's a mansion. Yep. It's like a mansion, <laughs> and that's where we ended. Um, oh, but the key thing is, is that uh, he transported the four party members, Meyer, Linda, and Gil are rogue el or rogue goblin but the other two did not come with us oh so the three saves you were rolling our strength wisdom and dexterity yeah so the two elves did not come with us to be saved right uh because it's willing creatures not just yeah Excuse anybody me. who wants so so we're, we're in, in paradise we're in paradise lost Hell yeah. How long do you guys stay there? Forever. <laughs> well, I think uh, three days would be ideal because Myra Linda needs to recover. And while we're here, I want to make some awesome armor out of that stuff we stole. Okay. Whatever kind of metal this tower is made out of. Uh, sure, it's the same stuff that most of the towers are made out of. Yep. Okay. The god armor. I mean, this guy wants to be a god killer. It's basically just like whatever mithril or yeah. it was like mithril. Yeah. So I want to make half plate for this guy because I already got full plate mithril. Okay. Or whatever this metal is. Do I know what kind of metal this is? Uh, you probably knew at one point, but you don't anymore. Damn it. Stupid mind fog of this stupid realm. That's what happens when you come back to life. You lose some stuff in the translation. Well... I'm going to make some armor with a fabricate <coughs> in the interim. And we can store spells in the ring for Alex if he needs spells. Uh, I have healing word and fly, and that's all I can have in there. It's probably good. Is that all the levels? Is that a fourth level fly? Yeah, it's him casting it, so it's cast at full. So eventually, you won't even be able to cast spells into the ring, is what I hear. Uh, why? Because the ring holds four level. Five, five levels. slots oh. of spells. No, he'll be able to because his spell right, slots max top off at fifth level, and then he gets really like, the eldritch, whatever arcane mm-hmm. secret mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, you start. Getting... You don't get ninth level spells. He does, but it's different. Not yeah. The I get all those first five levels, all get upcast automatically to fifth, and I only have one pool to take them from. Okay. I can't cast second, first, third, whatever. Right. Then after that, I get. A sixth level that I can only cast at sixth level once, once a day. day. Then I get a seventh that I can only cast at seventh once That's a day. Cool. Eight once a day. I guess I really Nine don't know how warlocks work. <laughs> no, I thought I did. <laughs> I still don't. I tried to make you one so that you could uh, learn. Oh man, Josh got an inspiration. That's not nice. good for us. Thank He's got you. like two, whoever you were. He's got huh? like two stacked Thanks, up Bill now, Bears. though. Josh, What's going on in your you arm over there? Last week. Yeah. It's a Bulgarian bracelet for, uh, I think it's like a Maranitsa or something like that. Uh, I, I use that on pasta. Hmm. Why do you have one on your arm? Because of the Bulgarian guy that I work with gave me one. Nice. It's a March tradition if you wear it all month. I think you're supposed to take it off when you see the first stork, sparrow, or blossom or something. Wow. It's okay. for strength and a new season. I don't know. Tradition. All right. 
Yeah. I, cool. I said, I don't think I can wear it all month. I got to go to surgery. <laughs> you can't we'll wear it all month. You got to take a shower eventually. I wonder if that counts as a new blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you come here? Why do I invite you here? Nothing. You just got to look at a picture of a sparrow. <laughs> and then you're fine. Yeah, all right. Good. Uh, all right. It'll be fine, man. A bunch of blind guys wear them all year. <laughs> <laughs> I like this drink, fella. <laughs> she gets it. Drink cakes. <laughs> okay, so you guys are in paradise. You stay for three days. You make him some new armor. Goodbye, hot tits. Do I have to roll for it? I don't want to, so. I mean, are you supposed to? Uh, no. Let's make you roll smithing just in case. Can we Damn take it, longer than three days? Can I assist? Yes. Sure. Oh, 14 floor. 14 plus is a proficiency in strength. Yeah. Can I tinker? 21. To add sandpaper to the inside. Oh, come on, man. Can I make <laughs> the hot tits on the uh, breastplate like uh, embossing? Sure. For 21, you can emboss hot tits on there. Are they better than the other painted on hot tits you used to have? Do you uh, roll for it? Roll for How it. How about you just roll craft for an it. udder on the stomach? Oh man! Oh God! Mad cow disease. This is why we don't let you do things. <laughs> this is why you guys don't, don't let him DM. Josh, run your campaign into the ground. Don't let him. Don't let him do it. <laughs> what armor am I adding to my mythral uh, uh, half, plate. half plate? But it's mythral. Is it plus one? No. Mm, it just doesn't provide a uh, like disadvantage. disadvantage to stealth rolls. It's not clanking loud. We might late. actually. Build so are you no longer somewhere. wearing your metal brazier? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, bro. It's the worst paradise ever. <laughs> Unless you want to keep it, you can hang on to it. You can be like, no, I want the hot hits. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> so just half plate? You'd use them as a flail. Mithril half plate. Mithril half plate. Right. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. I don't know if I want to do much else. Mm, I'm trying to decide if it's better or worse. Worse to ask. It's always worse if uh, I can sleep in paradise. You cannot sleep. Okay, good. That's almost better. Figure if I had three nights of glorious sleep and then you made it come back, I'm like, <laughs> then man, it, would, it probably would be worse. You're like, I need you. I just do it I after so ten days. To take a snap, <laughs> yeah. and I just disappear. I need it. I need it now. <laughs> Give me the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you can't sleep. Nah, nah, nah. Sleep is not a thing. That sleep is for pussies. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'll sleep when you're dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think that's true. <laughs> so, actually, I do have one more thing to do before we leave. I'm going to okay. go up to Axe. Hey, Ox. Yes? Ox. I need a... We should probably store a couple more spells in the ring that'll actually help us where we are at. Although I like the fly spell. We won't need it while we're underwater. But Wait, what? I believe uh, fly was our exit strategy, though. Right, so what about enhanceability to uh, give someone advent <laughs> an advantage to save against those spells no. they're casting? That's a check, <laughs> not a not save. I don't know how to say that in game. <laughs> it's a check, not a save. God, we do this yeah. every single <laughs> <point>. <laughs> Yep. We're trying to waste our spells and get us all to die. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> to mine comes around. Hmm. Whoa. Temujin. Look at, look at you. Temujin. <laughs> what color is it? It's what like Stormtrooper armor. Mm. It looks white. Hey, you should Could draw, I have changed draw some color? tattoos on there and no. it'll look like you're naked again. Orin, draw some tattoos on this. I'm not very good at drawing. Would you like me to do it? He's a good drawer. Of course I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, turn around. I'll start on your back. <laughs> so I'll turn around and I'll kneel down. It just says kick me. <laughs> okay. Warrior stripes. <laughs> yes. No, I'm ready. You are ready. Where are those elf people? What? <clears throat> they didn't come with us. We've been here a long ass weekend and you're just noticing. I was busy. With I what? 
He's looking around. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm bored out of my mind. We've been here 74 hours. <laughs> and counting every busy. minute. Do some push-ups then, Tamage. I did. You Do did some like more. two of them. Well, I'm not... Not strong enough. That's one of those recursive things. I'm not strong hmm. enough to do the push-ups to get stronger to do the push-ups. Long rest here. But do you have a lot of time to practice? I did. I did, and I am. So but when are we going back? Uh, I believe whenever Myra Linda is ready. Okay, she is. She looks better. Over the past couple of days, it seems like she has been. Regaining vitality. All right. Yeah, we'll get rested. Get you all juiced up so that you can do it again. We haven't even gotten to the door yet. What door? To wherever it is we're going, the one that you got to get us into. We're, I'm assuming that the tower is still going to be there when we get back. And you got to find your way into some control room and undo the diddly watts. Do the towers ever move? Yeah. Well, we made one not be there yet. Does that count? That didn't <laughs> technically move. It moved to another dimension. I don't think that counts. It didn't technically move. It moved. Is what you just said out loud in front of everyone. Isn't it like traveling through... I think Ozogon explained it to us where you fold space and then it just is over here instead. It was much more elaborate when he explained it. Look, Temujin. And I go down to my I'm knees. Say, just saying that. And I start scraping into the floor again. Temujin, <laughs> just look at this. I've already drawn this three times. Here, let me draw something. It's what's on your back. <laughs> you can't <laughs> read. Knock it off. Quit teasing him. It says this to Mark. Can you read that? Those aren't flames. <clears throat> no, oh. they're runes. Arcane runes of magic and deep speech. Hmm? Can you not read? It says kick me. You can read. It's upside down? No, he's he's taking it out of context. Making it look... Tell like, me, why would you do this? Well, turn around. I'll show you. <laughs> so I turn around. I kick him. <laughs> 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 Damn it, Timogen. In the kneecap? <laughs> yeah, right? In the, in the heel? <laughs> Frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jim, it's frog. So, here's the thing. Somebody, and the whole reason that you're here with us is that somebody is you, is going to have to activate the higher powers inside the what's it and make the tower do something that we haven't been able to make the other towers do yet. Like what? Uh, hopefully you get the fuck out of here. So you want me to make the tower go away to someplace else so mm -hmm. they can move? Make, yeah, we don't know. We think so. We just we just tr we pushed a handful of buttons and got the other one to kind of blinky plink for a bit. Do we first know? tower we blew up? Well, I we blew up. we <laughs> the second tower we made disappear mm -hmm. to another dimension. <laughs> fuck those guys, right? Exactly. <laughs> Do we know the tower's going to be there when we get back? We're going to find well, out one way or another. I don't think it moves unless you make it move. So unless them gilly elf folk are up to know who knows what, I think well, it'll still be I'd there. I assume it's still there because... What's that captain's name, the pirate? Doug? Delg. R Ra Doug. D Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> Doug, he, he mentioned that he knew about this place, mm -hmm. the Maelstrom, so it's been here a while, long enough mm -hmm. for them to know about it. Mm, true. It's probably only been here a billion years or something. Uh, so yeah, let's assume still there. Let's assume still flooded with water. So I'm gonna get us all ready for that. And then let's assume there's angry snot monsters inside with lots of mouths. And this time, Oren, stop being a coward and just strike them down. What the fuck are you talking about? I made you this nice armor, and that's how you treat me. Oh, oh, I'm giving you motivation, Orin, <laughs> as a friend. Here, turn around. Okay. I <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you to be good. <laughs> Just leave that on forever. Uh-huh. 
<sighs> so are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I think so. Before we get there, right when we drop this, I'll cast Bless on everyone. Hopefully that'll give us an advantage that we didn't have last time. How many are there? Six of us? Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So I can do it up to six if I cast it as my most powerful spell. We took a long rest, right? You guys are here three days. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to click it. Mm -hmm. So... That's what I'll do. Cast less on us. Drop it. We'll all be able to breathe, right? Uh, yeah. We'll time that. That lasts for a long time. Mine only lasts a short burst, so it'll be perfect for this fight. Okay. Mm, and then... Alright, do we have a plan for those... Those... The things. The snotty things. I think oh. the plan is bless. We get to... That's the first part. Be stronger against saves. Stronger against saves. I don't know how to say. We get to more. We get to be <laughs> more, we get to more resilient we get against to more their stuff. At it. Yes. yes, we're better at resisting. The things the they do won't affect us as much. Mm. Or that's the hopes, at least. Last time we were not doing so well. I still think we could have. We could have did it, but, but it's good we, to bring us here. Now we've got too much some fancy armor. Mm. We're we going to hang out rest. in Robot Land for a long weekend. Are you ready, Meyer Linda? We got to let I'm who ready. knows which one of those beasts, whichever one won, tear apart the countryside. Be perfect. Oh. It's three so, days. I mean, how long could it take to get to shore for one of them? No big deal. <laughs> so, Joe, you are you ready to show Orin how to be a real warrior? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't, know why, <laughs> I don't know why we're being mean to Orin right now. We gotta save that for when he earns it. In like in five minutes when he shits himself in front of them Stop gibbering mouth. Yeah, at me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop staring at me. I think they just come here to piss each other off. Using D and D as the vehicle by which that can be accomplished readily. Yeah, no, no, it's not me. It's my character. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what he would do. <laughs> yeah. So he just turns around. Did you set up a battlefield? Everyone has gills. No. I have not set up a battlefield. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to? I mean, if we're going to pop back to Who's that this battlefield. Guy? Who the fuck is this dude? That's that, me now. But that's Fluke. Oh, that this that is was you. Fluke. But then he was like, oh, that's exactly what he looks like, too. So, so I should not use this guy? Yeah. Switch me up. That but, guy has Stormtrooper armor. This guy does? Yeah. Okay, he needs a shield. You, you always forget to equip it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I equip my shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Can we just assume I always equip my shield? Like, uh, Let's just assume the ranger always casts Hunter Mark. Yep. Yeah. That's sure. what happens. We'll assume that Tama always recklessly strikes and power attacks. Yep. I mean, if you tell me I will always do this, if there's a downside to it, I'll let it happen. If you tell me I always do this and it's only good, then you're going to have to tell me every time. I right, quit my shield. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So we have gills. You cast bless. Yep. Gills. You're, but it's uh, gills kind of like a, a sea cucumber. You breathe out of your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that how would I propel great. myself. Man, as long as it breathes, it smells it so bad matter. in here. <laughs> Funny story. That's your intake, not your outtake. <laughs> Funny story. I played catch with the sea cucumber with a buddy of mine. In Is that what you call it? <laughs> down in Puerto <laughs> Vallarta. And this dude, he had like no fear. And. Like, it was just, it was probably one of the most disgusting things I saw. Okay, here we go. This is, so he took this animal cucumber. abuse. <laughs> so he took the sea cucumber. When he caught it, you know, like, he, like it started shooting the, the water out its orifice. And he yeah. just went, ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. That, I guess you guys don't <laughs> like that story. <laughs> you can't, you can't that on, on camera, right? <laughs> Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> 
Clip it and ship it. We found our level three emote. <laughs> That's our pit emote. Uh, uh, let's turn that a little. Give me the coffee pot. Turn this a little. Turn this. I'll right, put the battle cool. cam on. We'll take Ozagon out of the picture because he's not here. Not yet. Not yet. Ever. Not, not yet. <laughs> How do you think I'm going to end the campaign? I, I decided yesterday, after the uh, text message barrage, that it was time to finish him. It's like, well, he's I mean, after you pissed to Josh off, <laughs> yeah, I've pissed you off enough, so. Okay. All right. Let's do this. And we boot back in. <sighs> boop. Oh, boop. we boot back. That's it. All right. Bless. Yep. She, she you waited till it. the last fucking second, didn't you? Right. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Battle music. Okay. Oh, uh, I suppose we have to there. redo <laughs> initiative. Well, if we're doing that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. We gotta wait till bless for the feet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys can charge into danger quickly if you want to. You'll have the opportunity. Um, I charge I into so, danger. That was a fourth level bless. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I should just. <coughs> All right, we'll just no, go. Right? Don't be a coward. Yeah. No, don't be a coward. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys move back in. You're on Hate the catwalk. You, guys. <laughs> you, you fall a couple inches onto the catwalk because you left sort of floating above it since everything was watery. Oh, oh nice. is everything not watery right now? No. You guys fall down to the catwalk. Uh, <laughs> everything's drippy and dank. There's that musty smell in the environment again. Uh, some of the, like, uh, slimy corruption that was clinging to parts of the walls, the mold, the goo, has since drained through the catwalk, and so the catwalk's slimy and gross. Mm-hmm. All the doors to the rooms on the sides are open, and there's this, like, rotten, viciously bad smell coming out of them. Uh, you know, it reminds you of the one time that some stuff went over at an inn that you were staying at, and they had to clean out the back room because some of the stuff had spoiled. It's like a sea cucumber. It's not like a sea cucumber. <laughs> the this door, is the exactly door like the, a sea cucumber. The door at the end of the room that you opened that flooded the uh, this hallway is closed. Hmm. And we don't see the elves anywhere? No. Someone has already been here and conquered this tower. We can breathe on the water, right? Yeah. Then let's open the door. What, like, we don't... I mean, you can do what you want, but... I open the door. Okay, so as you're walking down the hallway towards the door at the end... Uh, you're passing all the rooms that have the corpses in them, uh, and they're like still hanging. Parts of them are hanging from the wires. They're not all in one piece anymore. And some of the rooms, like the spinal cord, is separated, and there's the legs in one nest of wires, and the upper torso is hanging from the other nest of wires. Uh, and most of the rooms, like a lot of the flesh, is rotten away. Um, How many rounds have passed? Two rounds. God. <laughs> You move to the end and you open the door. I open the door. Do you know the code to the door? Has anyone ever told you? I've seen them type it in. Okay. Sure. Try to type it in. Say it out loud. Can I use my intelligence score? <laughs> what is your intelligence score? Can you say it out loud? Do you remember it? No, of course I don't remember it. Oh my god. It's, it's like one of the Eight, most popular six, seven, songs. Five, three, oh, nine. 13. Yeah, it's fine. You remember it. You open the door. That is not the code. Water shoots into the room. With a 612 area code in front of it. 612-867-5309. Whatever. <laughs> Water shoots into the room. Um, you, the hallway fills up with water quickly. Wait, who who put water back in a room? How do you even do that? <laughs> as, as I run away. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. ah! I mean, it just fills up. It's like... And into the room come three of these things. And this one's actually yeah. like up here. So, of course it is. Um, all right, I guess it's too late. Whatever. Man, you can use the little uh, dwarf. platform razor that you broke. The platform razor that I broke? Yeah. Yeah, it's broke. Oh, there's another <laughs> one. Where is it? Oh, okay. One that you didn't break. Nice. Yet. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> I got it, guys. Don't worry. Okay, so... 
Blah. Sure. <laughs> Great. Can you botch initiative? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. My initiative is two. That's that's fine, dude. I don't remember. That's I don't fine. think you can botch initiative, Ten. right? No. And well, and let's get my, it out of the way. Come on. Rage, rage, rage. Fifteen. And, yeah. Fifteen. So that, that's going to represent the fact that I was trying to go into the room where you were actually over Neldor here. was. Yeah, I was in front. <laughs> you were in front. The water pushed you back. So this guy's over here. And these guys are unfortunately right there. We didn't order or anything like that. Uh, what's, we need uh, Gil and Meyer Lindez rules. Yep. Okay, and the Mallers. Yep, and the Mallers. So, uh, Meyer Linda is going to be an 18. <laughs> Gil is going to be a uh, 14. And the Mallers are a 1. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we're, uh, we're starting with me then. That's great. You guys are like, wait, you could have set things up. You could yeah. have figured out how to do this no, more efficiently. We didn't want to waste one spell, though. Fuck that. Open the door, go. Fourth level hmm? spell. That's right, Orin. Into the fire. Yeah, he's down. No, he Walker. Likes it. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> and but he's got hot tits. Mm. We gotta paint those. He's gotta kick me. I so, water breathing does it give you a swim speed? Um, it gives me a swim speed. He has the mantle, so he's the only one with a swim speed. But it doesn't me. give. Do I, I still have like a plus one armor then? Uh. I think I gave you a plus one no. weapon and for okay. the rest the of them, no. blind goggles. So if you don't have a swim so speed, I have plus four to my then sword. Then most oh, melee wait, attacks no. have disadvantage. Never mind. I can't make a plus three, a plus one. So weapons. yeah, you would have okay. plus one armor then. I know. Hey, do you know the weapons that don't have disadvantage to attack underwater? Trident, spear, javelin. <laughs> yeah, I think those are right things. <laughs> okay, yeah, things not like dagger, po- pokers. Uh, I don't, I don't believe so. so. No, cool. You guys have none of those things. So, anybody who's making a weapon attack who's not Temujin. <laughs> I do have a javelin. Or Tamat. Okay, so you use a javelin, maybe. Can you check that for me? Sure. Um, everybody else has disadvantage to weapon attacks. I missed why, but I don't... It's but you don't have a swim speed. But everyone um, has bless, so you get a d4 to your attack rolls and to your saves. All the time. Doesn't your... Well, for eight more rounds. Wait, did hmm? you make him? Did you give him a cloak? Or no yeah, cloak? I, yeah, uh, so I gave him okay. the cloak so of the manta. Okay. Gil is fucked. Underwater. Not really. Unless usable underwater melee weapon. weapons are dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, and trident. Okay, so daggers work. Oh yeah, they do. Hulky okay. things. Yep. Okay. Short sword, okay. spear, okay. trident. Yep. Cool. All right, let's do this. Who's first? Uh, first is me. Uh, first thing I do is cast Blur on myself. Good call. A brand new spell? What? Uh, let's see. And that is an action, so I can't do anything else. Gives them disadvantage to each your face? Yep. Cool. So after me is Myrlinda. Mm, all right. Let's see. Um, she wets herself. She in the water. Natural twenty. Natural <laughs> twenty. She crit freezes the sky. Fourteen damage. Swizzing. Swizzing. Pretty good cantrip. Yeah. I hate to ask this, but does she have to make any saves? Well, she does. You're right. Oh, and did I have to make saves? Yeah, yeah I think do. freezing is D eight, isn't it? No, D six. Is it D8? She know. makes you a save. Know. She rolled another natural 20. Holy shit. What? What's Ray of Frost? D8 or D6? Ray of Frost. Uh, D8. Oh, Thank okay. You. Well, then she actually did 20 damage yeah. to him. Spablam. Good job. My save was, uh, it was a wisdom? Strength. Strength. I uh, got a 16 plus more. You're good. Okay. You also get a D4 to all these. Yep. I had my D4. No one needed to make a wisdom save, though? Mighty four. Not yet. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you guys do have to make a wisdom save. Too. Sorry. <laughs> All of us? Uh, Not at yet. At the start We're of our turn. At the start of your turn. <laughs> so, I got a natural 20 plus four. So oh, my man. Save. My Linda didn't save. Wait, wait. So she, she gets a d4. 
She gets a D4. Oh, yeah, right. I cast Bless on everyone. That's why I cast it so high. Um, She still doesn't save. So she didn't do any of those things. Okay. Uh, actually, well, can, I, can I do plus five to that? 20s. You can do plus five to that, yes. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Since so you she know makes it. She's okay. got <laughs> an ass ton of D20s. All right. We're on mm-hmm. the same page right now. Right? Okay. okay, so you mm-hmm. made your save, right? Yep. We're all on the same so page. So I got my blur off. Page, right? She got her... We're gonna do this. Damage done. This is yeah. a and it is Tamat. 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 It's pretty doing anything. Strength saving throw. Yes. Inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way to start this game. <sighs> uh <laughs> Um, what was that one? Strength. Uh, that strength. Oh, okay. That's not. Too, that's probably not too bad. So strength. Fifteen plus four is nineteen. You make it. Now wisdom. Shoo. Uh, wisdom. Oh, nice. Uh, Twenty-one. Much. Okay. All right. I do all the things. Yeah, do it. Uh, and I'm gonna attack the guy behind Temujin and I. Okay. Yeah. Swazam. <clears throat> and this is oh, all. Wow. Natural twenty. Are you you don't get oh you do get advantage because you have the cloak. Yep. Natural twenty and uh, uh twenty two. Hit hit. Okay. Uh all right. And first my, one's a crit. So first one roll your natural twenty damage. So I'm just gonna double it if that's all right. And you want me to roll? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm here. Okay. Just decide beforehand. Mm-hmm. Can't uh, see all so ones. going to be a plus. Then pick. <laughs> you just got another inspiration. Nice. Ah, everyone wants to see Tamat kill everything. All right. So, I guess so, and I got plus two to this. So, this is going to be plus 10. Oh, plus 20. No, you don't double your non dice. No, 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 no. So, it's. That's, he gets so, plus 20. He gets yeah, I guess plus 10, 20. plus his plus magic eight, weapon, whatever. plus his strength. So, that's <laughs> 27. Um, plus, oh, I'm sorry. So you brought 14 a thing here. Oh, if you raged. He brought it to 14 me. 14 and 20. Uh-huh. 34. 34 damage sure to the guy right there. This is the place for it. Okay, blam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, try. Snake Eyes. Uh, so, 22 for the second hit. 34 and 22 is what? 56. Okay, so the first time you swing your sword almost through the middle of it, and one of the chunks that you hew off starts to dissipate into the liquid and become just like a cloudy blur. He's now much diminished, and then you stab your sword through one of his more prominent orifices and <laughs> wiggle it around in there, and blood kind of gushes out. Icker. But you're doing a severe amount of damage to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little worried for my floors, yeah. my table, know, my I'll walls. save this for later. I'm, I'll honey, <laughs> I'll weenie the poo it later. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I wasn't sure if I could even get it open, and then I did. And then I decided to close it. Your fingers, your phone. <laughs> Everything. Alex brought raw honeycomb, and I, I don't even know how to eat that. I don't know if I I'm supposed to eat it, it, or do you just... Drizzle it into your face, or do you? I think you eat it. <laughs> eat it like a you, just, you just eat it, man. Right, I'm probably gonna do Can it. You eat raw honeycomb? I'll yeah, do it. I'll God. do it on camera too. I just gotta not not do it. I will get some napkins. <laughs> get some napkins. Right. Right. We have to just yeah. We have to just carpet you like you're at a Gallagher show or something like that. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Or something. The sludge matic. Bam. What Gallagher front row seats. Smash watermelons. Never mind. I, I see that your education in all things he knows who it is. Been horribly He's just trolling. I, I, I don't know what you're talking. He's about. our age. He knows Gallagher. Okay, all right. Who's next? <sighs> uh, after you is Gil. Isn't that the guy that can make Gil makes a save? So everything out of duct tape. Let's see. Uh, purple is a strength save. Blue is his wisdom save. Flex seal and his D four. This is <laughs> strangely cocked. And uh, <laughs> strength save. Yes, wisdom save. No. Even with the plus two? Come on, yeah. Gil. Gil is, he's not super wise. I mean, yeah. He's kind of wise, that but was... not... Uh, five. Okay. He's going to move in a randomly determined direction. Up. <laughs> uh, Sure, he goes this way. Yeah, fuck off, Gil. <laughs> Gil's over here. Uh, somewhere. So just like up here. 
As you knock Dax over. Right. <laughs> okay, that's what Gil does. After Gil is... Orin. 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 I cast... Orin. Spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Okay. Is that concentration? No. Cool. That's why I cast it. And then I cast... It's not concentration? I attack. It is not concentration. It's one of the only ones that's um, not. Okay. Yeah, I got it right here. One bonus action. Duration, one minute. Okay. So not uh, concentration. <coughs> and then I attack the one nearest me. Do you make your saves? I make my saves. Let's see. Strength mm-hmm. save. Strength save. <laughs> Is 12 enough? No. I can use my inspiration. Come on. Fuck. No. <laughs> Is bless the first one or all? <sighs> it's the first. Whenever one. we make an attack roll or saving all. throw. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Your speed is reduced to zero as the uh, water around you becomes more gelatinous and gluey and starts to hold you in place. Make your wisdom saving throw. You hear Tamat go, Orin, you're doing it again. Fuck. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> wait. 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 14? Uh, yeah, 14 is enough. Oh, thank God. I guess I can't move. Am I near enough this weird sludgy thing? No. I use my spiritual weapon against it. Okay. Roll. And I think I get... It's either a d8 or a 2d8 if I hit. So... 19 to hit. Mm, oh, yeah. And spiritual weapon. The D8, I think, isn't it? D8 plus my spell casting mod, so take eight. Who's next? Uh, then it is Brian. After Brian is the mouse. Strength saving throw? Nope. Sweet. Eight. You get a D4. Uh, seven. Yeah, it didn't matter. Uh, that was with the Okay, D4. so the, ge- the water is becoming gelatinous around you and holding you in place. And then the other save. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you bot saves? I don't I don't remember. Yes, you can. Or did you fail them? It's probably uh, I the just thing. fail it then. Okay. So you're gonna move in a randomly determined location. But my so speed is zero. One. Oh, that's true. Never mind. You do nothing. You yeah. struggle ineffectively against the goo. Mm. All right. Now it's the goos. Yep. Goo. Gibber and mouths. Gibber a gibber. Speak gibber. This one is going to attempt to eat your face because you chopped <laughs> off half of himself. You think you gave it a new mouth? It only has like 10. He crits. Oh. T- who? Tit for tit. I know, Sky. Oh, thank God. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Holy shit. He lashes a bunch of mouths onto you and they start to eat you. Are you raging? Yeah, yeah of course good. I am. <laughs> so we're just going to count the straight damage then. Because it would be doubled, but you take half. Sure. Any ones? 10, yeah. 25. 25 damage. Nom 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 nom. While it's chewing on you, he's gonna spit at Ryan. He just basically spews ink out of one of his orifices, and the ink starts to like sort of go all over the place. Can I close my eyes and mouth? Well, that's what the dexterity saving throw is for. I you, what? I don't dex throw. I, I know. Don't do that Both shit. of you guys can make dex saving throws. He's not even near me. Oh, that's sorry, Temujin. Temujin. And he's in a goo and Temujin. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wrong small guy. <laughs> I'll roll there. for him, don't worry. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all right. He'll be blind when he gets back. Yeah. That's fine. So go ahead and make a saving throw because it's everybody within uh, five feet. Strength? No. Dex. 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 You get advantage yeah, against I do. Dex. Plus D4. Oh, I make it. Yep. That's a 19 plus my Dex modifier, which is a zero. Okay. So a 19. Yeah, all right, Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to add that plus zero to it. Okay. So just like an ink cloud. 
Okay, That's fun. the second <laughs> one, the one above axe. Surprise attack from above? I mean, it's not surprise, he knows it's there. I'm just trying to figure out if it's going to attack, who it's going to attack. Him, him, or him. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a question, this is an interesting question. If yeah. you're making a deck saving throw, but you're incapacitated, can you still make a deck saving throw? Technically. Yeah. Unless it says you automatically fail. We yeah, can go know. ahead and read I think you can if you're restrained. If you're restrained, well, Brian's, you automatically fail. Well, Brian's out. I just, He's not restrained. Okay, Meyer Linda. And this one up here is going to attack Meyer Linda. So mm -hmm. restraint is disadvantage. It fails horribly. Doesn't say you can't. Just can't take actions or reactions. Sure. It's gonna spit at. It's gonna spit ink out in this way towards Demot. Make another save. All right. Which one, Dex? Dex. Oh, it's just sad. You get a D four to it too. Yeah, that's sad. Um, so that's a nine. Nope. You're all like you're yeah. also blind. You need to give me two deck saving throws. You can fail the first one, the second one doesn't matter. <laughs> Twenty-three plus yeah, you're good. twenty-four. That's, That's good for the first 20. one. Okay, second one. Oh shit. Nineteen twenty. You're good. You're gonna fucking attack me as soon as I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you're so blind. It's a gift for leaving. So, so I just have to roll straight now. Having no so advantages. much delicious coffee. Mm -hmm. Right. And the third one. To attack one, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, it's gonna attack Orn because Orn attacked it. Well, I don't know, so did Myrlinda. Look we'll like this. Unless. Alright, Myrlinda. Ah, whatever. Mm, it misses. These guys are kind of like beholders where they just start taking away everything. But it's gonna turn around and spit at Orin, so Ink, make a save. Whenever Does Gil save? Dice and it fails me again. Gil fails and is blinded. Oh, he gets a plus a D4. Uh, 19. Oh, uh, wait. What's your proficiency bonus right now? Three. Three. So Gil does save. Gil saves. Barely. What did you got? 19. Okay, you're good. You guys save versus the blinding stuff that they secrete into the water. The crazy ink cloud. <laughs> That's all the uh, Mouthers? That's the Mouthers. Okay. Uh, it's weird turn. to think that it's a deck save in the water. I'm trying to avoid the spreading ink that's going everywhere. <laughs> I closed <Yeah>. my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how it works. Uh, it's a little do, clunky trying to convert them to aquatic monsters. I'll do Ray of, Ray of Frost <laughs> on the you know one it above like me. Jet stream. Like, yeah. But it spreads. It's supposed to be blinding spittle when so. I'm making it ink. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Blinding spittle link. 23 to hit? To hit which one? Uh, the one above you. Uh, you hit him. Okay. And I do potent cantrips, so I get an extra d8 on there. Wait, wait. So did you make your saves before you do anything? Shoot. Strength save and then wisdom save. So strength save first. Uh, 14 plus 3, 17. Yep. Now wisdom save. Ah. <laughs> Lost <laughs> the dice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it right. uh, nice. 20. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're good. Okay, you're good. You're good. Oh, I think it's back this way. And so then you hit him. Oh, yeah. I see. Right? Yep. Uh, What'd you hit him with? Ray of Frost. Okay. Weep. So, the uh, 3, 8, 9, 14 da uh, eight cold damage. Cool. Uh, let's see, and I'm not near it. Is anyone near the one in front of Gil? Are they both in combat with it or no? Yeah, uh, my Linda. Yeah, they're both close enough that they could reach out and smack it. Okay, or is not. I will stay where I am then, and we're at my Linda. Okay, so let's see if she can back up a little bit. Oh, nope. Wisdom save. She gets a d4. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just super bad. Nope, nope, and nope. So she is doing nothing. Next. 
Uh, next is Tamat. All right, here's my strength. Rolling straight for the attack if you make your saves. Yep. So yeah, strength save. <clears throat> uh, that's a save. That's a twenty-three. Okay. Something like that. Cool. Yeah. Wisdom. And wisdom. Come on, buddy. Oh boy, that's a that's a shitty roll right there. Inspiration. And <laughs> how many <laughs> else do you have? <laughs> started with one and got hey, another. Anybody out there in the internet? Please world don't. Give me don't an encourage it. This is horrible. All right, do your thing. <laughs> You gotta shake your hot tits while you say that. Uh, you don't. Do you get a? They don't call me hot tits. No, the default. The default, the default is default stays. Is. So you had a one. Uh, that's a seventeen. Okay, so you save. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Begging for that inspiration. It's <laughs> <laughs> just horrible. They don't have me, call me hot to tits, Matt. For nothing. Turn? Don't forget, you have an inspiration too. That's a hit. Sure. You're like, I get to use inspiration whenever I want. That's a hit. I'm the TM. I don't, I'm going to wait until I want to kill you. <laughs> uh, so, this is 28. Just resource trainer. Yeah. 28 for the first hit. Okay. And 27 for the second hit. Uh, okay. Fugah! Fugah! I can't blah, see you! Blah, 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 Show blah, yourself! Blah, 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 blah. It dissipates into some slimy goo everywhere. Yeah. Nice. Since, uh, since he's gone, or which one blinded me? That one. The one, no, on top. the one up here blinded you. Okay. But your eyes would still be fucked up anyway. You don't yeah. Get miraculously right, hit. right. Well, no. The, How long does that last? End of the Mouther's turn. Yeah. Oh, so I'm good. No, it's not their turn yet. Yeah, I will. The be end good. of their next turn. Yeah, I'll be good. Sure, you don't know that, but yeah. Sure. Yeah, I do know I'll be good. You just got an no, inspiration. You don't know that. <laughs> Thanks, boys. <laughs> uh, a little shoulder dance for y'all. <laughs> Keep those inspirations coming. <laughs> yeah. Josh, um, all you have to do is sh- show some shoulder, dude. Stand up a little bit. You got it, no pants on. Get those inspirations. <laughs> it's it's turn. All the ways you can die, right? <laughs> Chasing your own demise, friend. <laughs> Carol turns on you. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look, after three inspirations, he got a natural 20. (laughs) Whose turn is it? Gil. All right. (laughs) Don't forget, Josh, you have an inspiration of your own. Gil kicks you. (laughs) Let's see. Gil saves and saves. Uh, Stabby stab. He misses the stab. Oh, that's even all he that did, D4? huh? Yeah, even with D4. Okay. He rolled. No, maybe not. Come on, D4. Oh, no, he makes the stab. This D4 is the best thing ever. That's pretty good. good. I forgot that this is my favorite first level spell that I even said 10, in our video. It's a good 15, spell. 15, 21. Okay, he does. It can be a difference maker. 21 damage to it. Um, cool. He stabs it. Orin. <laughs> Josh has reverted to he stabs in mode. <laughs> saves. Your saves. Your fault, Matt. <laughs> you brought us here. <laughs> <laughs> well, strength. 4, 8, oh, yeah. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. Oh, no, 12 is not enough. Well, shit. Wisdom? You don't move. Come on, wisdom. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, did Orin not pander to the audience and not have an inspiration? <laughs> I did not botch. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh my god, these are the two things I'm good at. <laughs> Let's see what you do. Well, it's not like he moves anyway. Oh shit. You make a melee attack against Gil. He's above uh, me. <laughs> Um, he is a problem. He was 3D up. Oh, that's right. Never mind. You do nothing. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Orin, stop being a coward and get into the fray. I kick him. You can't. Because you can't move. Because you're a coward. And now it's Brian. <laughs> Timogen. Let's see if I'm strong enough. Mm, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10. Nope. Not I'll add a five to that. 
15. You don't have to make the strength save anymore. Oh. You're not within 10 feet of one of them. Hmm. But you do have to make the wisdom save. Okay, so should I keep that roll, or should I do it again? You should roll again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad? Yeah, I just, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, We're fighting the losing battle. You here. do nothing. We'll yeah. let Tamat kill everyone. Yeah. Now it's the mouse. He'll keep begging for it's inspiration. Okay, this mouse I'm getting moves bang, down over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hit you. Matt's our official cam girl. <laughs> and our social media guru. <laughs> so 10. You're on Chatterbait? <laughs> 22, 27. Take 13. Take 13. Yeah, do we have an half? account? <laughs> Is that half? That, that's after having. All right. Yeah. Everyone then... attacks to Mott from now on. <laughs> oh, that's happening. It's like, nah. uh, To hell with these other guys. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? And then you guys make a save. Two of you. A what save? Wisdom? Uh, no, this is a deck save. Oh. Uh, I no, nail those. Uh, it's a 12. You're blind again. Okay. You're okay. What happens like, when you grab your mouth? It's in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're... Uh... I just got it out. <laughs> Stop it's not it gonna or matter. you'll go blind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Remember those Massimo shirts when it... Yeah. Was that both the mouthers? Or that was just no, one? that's just the one mouther. So this mouther, one, two, three. Okay, it's going to go after Gil. It doesn't hit him, though. And then... Uh, spits at Meyer Linda. Wow. She does not make the save. She's blinded. She gets a d4. She gets a d4. Oh, that's right. And how much did she fail it by? Oh, no, she makes it. Oh, okay. This is so good. Four the D4. She's not blinded. Bless yeah. is an amazing spell. It's turning the battle of these low-level monsters that shouldn't be doing this to <laughs> us. This is eating your faces off horribly. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it's back at the top of me. Uh, I'll start by my saves. Strange. Mm. Uh, that's probably not good. Uh, ten. So I don't. So move. you don't move. Welcome to the club. And I got thirteen on my wisdom save. Or sorry, eighteen on my wisdom save. Oh yeah, eighteen's good. Ray of frost. Yep. Ray of frost. Ray of frost. Yeah, I'll do ray of frost on this one or that one. Is there one that looks like it's taking more damage? Uh, this one's definitely more hurt. Okay, I'll hit that one. Okay. And this one is now actually come down. So he's more like blah, 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 blah. So join the battle. 28 to hit. 28 to hit hits by over a factor of three. <laughs> uh, 15 damage. Cool. Then we're at Meyer Linda. All right, let's see. Saves. Red is strength. Purple is wisdom. Mm. No the strength. Wait, wait, she gets a D4. She gets a D4. Uh, yeah. Is there one that she gets over 10 on? Yeah, the but, wisdom. If you were to flash inspiration, she'll make the wisdom. Yep, I'll do the wisdom for her. Okay, so she can't move, but she can do a thing. She does her thing. She hits. Or 2d8. Four damage to the one in front of her. <laughs> 2d8. Four damage. No! <laughs> so goes that flash of inspiration for four damage. Yep. All right. Who's next? Uh, we're at Tamont. Oren, watch this! And I've literally stayed in the same spot this entire time. I uh, save on the strength. Yep. Uh, let's see. Eight? Nope. You do... Oh, I hope I roll an eight. I hope I roll an eight. I hope I roll an eight. No. Fuck. 
You wanted him to smack Temujin down? Yes, that would be great. <laughs> oh, really? Like, or would watch this. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> just the wrong way. way. <laughs> 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 he can't or it's like, yes. It's like, okay, you swim straight up for 30 feet. Whoop. Does he provoke? Uh, Yeah, it's going to totally chop on him. Nom, 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 nom. It's going to hit you. Does it have advantage if he didn't... Uh... Oh, wait, no, he did reckless. Line. Yeah, he did reckless. He okay. line, so it was just a straight roll. Yep. So 5, 10, 15, 21. So take 10 damage. Swim up. Nom, 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 nom. It eats his legs on the way by. Am I the only one taking a lot of damage because... Yeah. I think you're the only one that's taking I'm taking a damage. lot of damage right now. <laughs> well, you did piss the DM off. <laughs> they can also roll the advantage to hit you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Every time. <laughs> of course they do. No, I mean because you're right. No, I, of course works. they do. Yeah, so yeah. Gil, I'm, I'm saying I'm not saying sarcastically. Right. Gil uh, gets the stabby stab if he makes the save. Let's see. Does Gil make his strength save? Yes. Does Gil make his wisdom save? No. D four. D four. It doesn't matter. You sure? Oh yeah. No. <laughs> I rolled a four. It still doesn't matter. Gil. It does nothing. Uh, Oren. Should I retire this dice yet? Wait, do I lose my uh, my rage and everything? Uh, no, oh, you, you got, got attacked. It. Okay, so I did get attacked. As long as you attack yeah, someone or take damage this next round, you're right, okay. Right. All right, we'll try this dice one more time. Okay. It can't fail me four times in a row. That's right. right. What's the worst that could happen? 28. You're good. Wisdom save. Thirteen? Thirteen is enough. Ooh, exactly. A five and it pulls it out with a five. <laughs> Alright, so what do you do? You can move and you can do things. I can finally use my spiritual weapon, which I will do against the creature near me. Bonus action strike. Bonus action to strike. Fifteen? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. The hammer swings around and slams into Ten it. Ten damage. Slack. Cool. And I will move up to it finally. Wait. Did I fail? No, I succeeded on my Yeah, you got it. You move in. And then I'll hammer it. Disadvantage. And I use the thunder. Cool. Disadvantage roll. (laughs) It's okay. You're probably still okay. Add your d4. (laughs) Add your d4. (laughs) D-roll one. (laughs) We'll confirm if it's a miss or not. Hey, boys. Ryan really needs some help right now. (laughs) Yes. Okay. So you go to swing your hammer at it. You say the magic word. You let loose. The hammer slips out of your grasp underwater. And the uh, mouth just kind of opens a hole, and the hammer swings through the hole. Oh, I'm retrieving that. Well, it's going to strike Meyer Linda in the face. Roll your damage. How does it... My hammer's going to strike him? Yeah. For her? Yep. It's going to go right through. He swings, and it goes through the mouth, which opens up around it, and it strikes her. Spadoo. Hey, tomorrow. there's a thunder Watch blast this. underwater. <laughs> as you can cuss your friend horribly. God. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> hey, at least you got to roll damage, right? Yeah, yeah. I did get to roll damage. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, Warren. God damn, that's not that bad. 18. Okay. The hammer catches her glancing blow in the shoulder. And you guys Oops. here. Can you throw that back to me? <laughs> She's thrown up against the wall. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, we're at uh, Temujin. Let's see. Which ones am I? Do I have to make all? Or just strength well, and yeah. wisdom? This guy has come. Oh, sorry, Mike. This guy came down. So strength and then wisdom. Nine. And. 15, 20 for wisdom. Okay, so you can't move. Did you roll your d4 for your strength? Yep. Damn. But the weird gibbering noises. <laughs> You're unaffected by their weird psychic shenanigans. I don't care about your psychic shenanigans. I've been tentacled before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you took a big tentacle in paradise. I take tentacles all, all the, time. the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Says our cam girl. <laughs> uh, I, I lost. Uh, 
lost my I lost my character all of a sudden. The one page that closed. Why'd you close it? I didn't mean to. This is why I got paper though. All right. Ah, uh, so how? Mm, yeah, I'm going oh. to try to. Well, I guess I do need this. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, that's what I told you. Oh. Spells. Come on, should we use that? You did use it. I didn't. You used two already. Yeah, dude. I'm trying to get more inspiration. <laughs> I should have used that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, can I. I don't think. I'm going to step back. You know what? Actually, I have Warcaster. I don't need to worry about it. I am just going to Eldritch Blast this near one. Right in the, I guess, face. Okay. I mean, it's all faces, but do your thing. Yeah. Ah, no. oh. So, uh, well, uh, 16. Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. And another one. Way easy. more. 2016. Yeah. Okay. 2016. 2016. 2016. <laughs> 2016. Oh, my past. God. 2016? It was a year. Okay. And then, so... So three plus six and two plus six. So eight and nine. Seventeen. Blast blast. Yep. Okay. Put little tiny holes in it. Hey, put, put Sorry, my <laughs> Linda. <laughs> All right. This one doesn't have any bits. Cam to girl got another Pretty inspiration. Fire, <laughs> you boys. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna ah. ban you from using them. Be like, you can't use this yeah, you get oh. 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 Don't do that, that to those guys. <coughs> it's you got to spread the wealth, okay? We I just know kill not him. He'll them. need them. <laughs> all right. I'm also. That's fair. I'm also taking all the damage. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you wonder why. <laughs> 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 well, Meyer Linda took some. True. To be fair, you know, we should do is pain is pleasure. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that today and next week are your last chances for a long time. Okay. Then I mean, you then, be, then you won't be able to kill him. No, I still can. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah, my but you get to call him back. Oh, you don't let us kill each other? No. Not directly, but you could make rocks fall. <laughs> I mean, now I could. Mm -hmm. What I should do is I should kill you at the end of this game and then not let your next character come until the end of next game. Oh. <laughs> he got really sad all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, great, great. I like it's, it. it's the Mallory's <laughs> turn, by the way. They all abandoned everyone else. No, this one's going to either attack one of you two guys because it's right there. <coughs> it attacks Axe. It has disadvantage. It has disadvantage. Blurt. Oh, good call. Oof. So it's going to miss you. But it will spit at you. So dexterity saving throw for you and Meyer Linda. She rolled a natural 20. She makes it. Ooh, nice job, Meyer I got a Linda. 7. You do not make it. You're blind. All right. You're throwing me my Next hammer back. That's <laughs> not her. It's like she's all like, ugh. It's over here somewhere on the catwalk. Damn it. <laughs> she uh, made her deck save because the hammer hit her in the face and closed out both eyes. Right, yeah. Uh, let's see. So the mouther is going to attack either her or you. Okay, attacks her. Um, it misses. It's going to spit at you. Dexterity save. Damn it. All right, we got this. Oh. Right. Does Gil have to make the same two? He's right next to him. Gil's like, sure. Sure? Is 12 enough? No. Gil Damn. makes the save. 12's not enough. You're blind. That's all right. I'm already swinging at disadvantage. Uh, you don't have a hammer to swing with, so. Well, I could punch it. You can punch it. His spiritual weapon at a I'm creature you checking. can see. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. So now it is my turn. But I'm guessing it's at disadvantage. Probably. Make those Strength saves. saves. Oh. Yeah, you so strong. <laughs> uh, ten. No, you're immobile. Six. Let's see what you do. Just to be aware, blind the creatures also mm-hmm. offer advantage to being hit. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. You're going to attack a randomly determined creature in your reach. Yay. Isn't everybody in your reach? Yeah. Uh, is it a melee attack? Uh, nope. Kill my Arlinda. That'll screw over the whole campaign. So, let's see. Oh, I'm going to roll again. Six is nobody. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Gil. We <laughs> come on, guys. We got this. Let's just keep killing each other. That's a six plus eight, 14 to hit. Guild dodges out of the way. You know what? I haven't been doing the blue Add magical blast goes attacks. past the shoulder. What's up? I haven't been adding my d4 to attacks. <laughs> you have not. That's all right. Marlin, 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 Marlin did. Did. All I guess much. it doesn't matter <laughs> if you botch. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, when you're attacking your friends, you think you're attacking the gibbering mouthers. Like, you become, like, confused and disoriented and everything looks kind of like it's shifting around and you're just blasting one of the mouthers. So whose turn is it? Marlinda? Marlinda. All right. Strength save. Fail. Wisdom save. Okay. D4, D4, D4. It doesn't matter if the strength save. It was horrible. But that's good. So she is going to move. She's going to swim over to your hammer, pick it up, and throw it back at you. Oh my god, she did it. Give me what a dexterity saving throw. Is she I'm strong? blind. She's strong. Oh, you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I automatically fail. <laughs> it goes past you. <laughs> oh. Ding, 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 ding. A blinded something. creature automatically fails any ability check that requires sight. Okay, you don't catch it. It goes by. You want to see if it catches you? Odds or evens? No, I don't want to see if it catches me. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It automatically goes by. You wouldn't even know, but it's down that way. Yeah. Cool. <gasps> I'll find it. I've only been making two attacks. God damn it. Oh, bummer. Oh, you did say everything. Yeah. Now it's your turn. It's time you got everything. Now, did I lose my rage because I didn't get attacked last round? (laughs) You got attacked swinging (laughs) swimming up. Oh, I did get attacked swimming up. All right. So I do all the things, and this guy's going to get three attacks. So you come back down. You Uh, make the saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to make the saves. So make a strength (laughs) save. At the start Uh, of the strength save is. Definitely good to go. Okay. Wisdom save. Good to go. Yeah, 20 plus All right, so zero. you come down. All right. So 20. So a straight roll mm-hmm. on all Easy these. math. No, it's not a straight roll. You have advantage now because your blindness is over. That's a hit. Oh, the D4 saves. Stays, right? No, you have different attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, 14 mm-hmm. at the very least. Natural 20. Stop yawning. You kill it. Hit, hit, hit. Slash, slash, <laughs> he doesn't even let's do damage. <laughs> it dies. And just my crit damage. Snake eyes. This, there's no <laughs> way Snake you eyes for the... No way <sighs> you can't not die. <laughs> and I just cut... I just stab it. What I do is like I'm 30 feet down. I come okay. in oh, and I right. stab it in the mouth. Just... <laughs> All right. <laughs> sore. It goes... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Dissipates into the water, and that was my turn. Good turn. Now Good we're at uh, kill. You get to make two saves. Red is strength. Okay, he makes it and makes it. Gil's been making these saves pretty easily. He stabs it. That's good for him. <laughs> Just Just a little bit. Bit. <laughs> I'm here to make sure everyone gets uh, to. Yeah, and I'm here to 10, bless you. Be blessed. 14, 16, yeah. 18. And to hit Myerland once. All right, Gil stabs it. Slash. Who's next? Uh, Gil, then it's Orin. Orin. Am I blinded still? Mm-hmm. Uh, to the end of its 
to the end of its next turn. Then I'll use my spiritual weapon. It just says attack a creature within five feet of it. So we'll do that with disadvantage. Make your saves. We'll do that first. Strength. Strength. I didn't even roll that. That's good. Uh, 17. Okay. Wisdom. Yes. There you 27. go. 27. Okay, you're good. See, I'm good at this. What's going on? <laughs> Obviously, I have inspired you, Orin. I still can't see. Right. So now I'll make a disadvantage attack with a d4. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Luckily, their AC is probably low. 17? Probably. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Twice over. You Almost. Start paying attention. Almost <laughs> twice over. <laughs> Ten damage. And wow. Okay. I'm really um I'm really what do I do without a hammer? You killed it. It's dissipated into slimy goo in the water. Oh, then I'll use my action to look for my hammer. <laughs> Yeah, you're still blind. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're blind until it gets a turn. You screwed oh. yourself. Oh. The rules is written. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just start punching uh. it. <laughs> punching into it's the cool. air. You can you clear your eyes and you can look around and find your hammer. Was that the last one? Nice. That was the last one. Look what I did. I killed one. <coughs> you did kill one. All by my lonesome. Or at least I think I did. Each of them, uh, when each of them dies, something clanks to the grating by you guys. Ooh. Does it slip in the cracks? I catch it before it slips. I'm blind. You're blind. It doesn't slip into the cracks. Okay. What clanked to the ground? It looks look at it. kind of like a cross between a fistful of, uh, like, strange... Sort of wooden tentacles and an apricot pit. Mm. Pocket. <laughs> okay. Temujin <laughs> takes the one by him. He's like, oh, need this. Yep, I know what these are. All right. Well done, Temujin. We did not get killed. And I just will trudge along, moving forward. Okay. Yes, it's always good to not get you guys killed. swim in this direction. I do a cure wounds on our barbarian. Oh, thanks. Uh, You'd think uh, that the cleric would do that kind of shit, but <laughs> everyone yeah, else is cleric. distracted doing other things, so I grab uh, another tentacle. Get nine hit points. Nine? Okay. Nine? Well, I'll definitely nine. get the one that's under me. Thank okay. you. Okay. I was like, I was just going to keep grabbing him until someone says otherwise. <laughs> I heard it. I want it. Is that my hammer? Oh, that's not, not my hammer. Yeah, your hammer went past you. You find it. Okay, so you guys kind of swim through the water towards the room that the water all came from. Mm -hmm. I think so. All right. As you're moving in that direction, uh, the water's kind of murky and sort of it's got stuff in it, right? It's not totally clear, so it's like cloudy, and you can see shapes moving in the water, like at the periphery of your vision, like out into that room where you can kind of not quite see things well. Do they look humanoid size? Uh, I mean, glints of metal? You can roll perception if you want to. I will do that. I'm still blind. No, I'm not blind. <laughs> 20. Okay. So, yeah, they're humanoid shapes. So, these are the, um, I don't remember what they're called. Shark people. Soggy. 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 Soggy hats. Something That's like that. Something like that. Soggy. Or perhaps it is the elves. My hat, but. Well, if they turned on us, fuck them. They didn't come with us. It doesn't mean no. necessarily they turned on us. What the fuck they, is this? I say, and I hold the little weird tentacly thing in my oh, hand. You gotta kiss it and then make it come oh, alive. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to just smack you in the head with it. Fair is fair, but I'm coming back with one. <laughs> you guys just holding them to each other's faces as they're <laughs> rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No one knows? Uh, Besides mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Oh, well, fine. Fuck you then. Yeah, you already gave me your snarky ass answer. And it begins already. 
No, you gonna you just figure it out yourself. Experiment with it. Forget, did Myra want to take any damage? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah she did. She got hammer print. That's right, the hammer. <laughs> Hit her shoulders, like all jacked up. I'll have her uh, recover uh, 12 hit points. Awesome. Okay, she feels much better. <laughs> so this room is massive. You can't see the ends of it. Got to find a map or, or some sort of an interface to figure out. Can't build the wall. Computer, please tell me where to go. I don't know what a computer mm -hmm. is, but sure. Spaceship. Tower, <laughs> whatever the hello <laughs> Siri, yeah, Alexa, nothing. Yeah, I mean, did you guys swim into the large room? Uh, yes. Okay. So as you swim Hallmark. through the doorway, that uh, the hallway kind of, you know, that's the end of the hallway. Uh, it feels like you're swimming into a large open space. All you can see is the wall behind you as you swim through, and everything else is lost to murkiness after about oh, fuck. 60 feet in all directions, including sort of... I think there's a floor under you, but that's about it. Everything else is off into the distance. There's sort of a dim, diffuse kind of light that's coming through from above, and so it looks kind of greener up there. But We're sw still swimming. Yeah, still some. So, where's everyone going? Straight. This is very tall as well as it's wide. It's wide, deep, and tall. Oh, we could go. Oh, there's some something kind of light up there. I swim diagonally up, diagonally to the right. Forty-five, forty-five. Up and to the right. Yep. Okay. I'll follow. All right, you guys are the guys with swim speeds, so how do you stay slow for real, or do you just go for it? <laughs> All right, so you guys go. Sweet. Well, we'll get there eventually. Hopefully they're not dead. Hmm? You're sticking with me. Uh, making sure you're going to be all right. All right. Now, once we get to about 80 feet ahead, we turn left. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trust me. What? We gotta do it. But tell me, this we're, is the only way. Can they see us? No, we'll 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 set off a flare pretty soon. Oh, okay. You guys lose the rest of the party. What about Maya Linda? <laughs> She's Burn the like Maya Linda. Okay. All right. So, do you take a hard left after you're out of sight? Mm -hmm. Okay. And get back to the center path. And go back down down underneath. So we're on the straight and narrow. Wait, what are you doing? So we're gonna go up and to the right, hard left to get back to the center to of the, the room. Of the room. And come back down to where we're supposed to be. What do you mean where you're supposed to be? Where if we he started. was going to where continue. You to... Mm -hmm. Okay, ah. so you're just doing like a big kind of weird loop. We're just doing kind of a loop. And Okay, well, as you start to get away from the rest of the group and you start to lose, lose track of them, things are getting brighter and brighter. Mm -hmm. uh, the humanoid yeah, shapes are kind of staying farther away, and you come up to what looks like a ceiling, but it's a bunch of weird tendrils that are just draped into the water. And you realize that what you're swimming up to is like a nest of roots that kind of block the light, the top of the chamber. Oh. Oh, this is better than I was hoping for. Was you guys it? haven't started your downward swing yeah. yet. You've kind of went up yeah. and then you cut left a little bit and ran into this. A, what is this? I don't know. Take a sample with your sword. Hmm. Got my see you got it. Shit. And oh. you cut some of the roots? Yeah. What happened? Okay. <laughs> we, we just got to see what happened. So. <laughs> All right. So do you hack up and through or do you just hack sideways and cut some just of the bottom like, roots off? I can shave it. Okay, uh, the nest of roots kind of like starts to writhe and pulls away from you, and you can now see up out of the water. And the roots kind of like, they seem to crawl away from where you're at as soon as you cut them. Ooh, yeah, open a hole a little bit bigger so I can see myself. Oh, it's pretty big. Now there's like a 30-foot hole around where oh, you guys are oh. at. Splooch. And you surface? Yeah, I want to see what's up there. Okay, uh, so you swim to the top and you surface and poof, break through. 
and uh, you see like clouds and uh, what looks like a placid sort of green lake that extends in all directions that you can see. There are birds wheeling above, making noises, and what what looked like a root kind of mat from the bottom looks just like, have you guys ever seen mangrove trees? When they grow Mm -hmm. in profusion out of the ground, it's just like a nest of knots, and then there's trees coming out. Mm. You can't see the ground. That's what it looks like. Have we made it to the top? Is this the ocean? It looks not like the ocean. It looks totally flat. This say we I have no fucking idea where we are but it's nicer than I'd expected uh, let's see if I can cast some sort of a flare that's Under not water. Eldritch Blast <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, 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 they're just like <laughs> like knifing like, down in right the water right from there yeah. uh, you, know what we, you know what we could do probably the only way to really send a flare is to make this bright light come through better so keep on shaving it back. Mm. All right. And then let more sunlight in. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a 30-foot hole temperature. I, was saying, they, I don't know how dark it's it big. is down there. Maybe they maybe they can see it. I, if you don't want them to catch us, that's your, your business. <laughs> no. Whatever you say, Temujin. <laughs> do, you want, uh, do you want a superpower avocado? What? I, I don't know if you're ready for it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you're probably not ready for superpowers. I already have superpowers, Temujin. No, you don't. You have average powers. But when you're ready, we can talk about it. We just go, we've got to wait until you're a bit stronger. Um, I'll go around and I'll dick another... <laughs> swipe at the roots. Opening. Try to open up some more. Roll a dexterity check for me. Oh, god damn it. Do I still have less? Nope. No. Less is gone. Does he get advantage? Um, I think that's just when you're surprised. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't Six. get advantage. Six. Okay. So you pull your hand back while you're swinging to swing to the roots, and a bunch of the roots shoot forward and wrap around your sword arm and hold it in place. <gasps> I, I said you needed superpowers. <laughs> Some of the trees <laughs> turns toward you, turn towards you. Termish. Quit eating your banana <laughs> and get these roots off me. Um, the so roots start to shift. The nest of roots start to shift and the trees that have turned kind of to orient towards you start to move in your direction. They're strange and gnarly kind of humped sort of trees. They look twisted and weird, and they're not at all like a straight tree. They're just kind of this weird gnarly sort of figures mm-hmm. glide across yeah, the course. root nest towards Of course, you. Brian. He only pulled out two of them. No big deal. <laughs> you, you know that <laughs> There's like eight of those guys. <laughs> Do you want super powers yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating your avocado. <laughs> Get these roots <laughs> off my hand. All right, all right. Bah, 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 bah. I blast him with Elder's Blast. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the roots on his arm? <laughs> the ones fell over the back. Or the ones that are moving, the, the like weird gnarly tree creatures that are moving towards you. Be more specific. <sighs> what you... What did you say, word for word? Get these roots off my hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> fuck you, Brian. I realize this is the <laughs> nearing the end I, of the I campaign. I try real hard not to hit his hand. Oh, fuck. Don't bother. Flash, flash, flash. I, get, I go for the ones that are binding him. Okay, roll the hit. How long does aid last? Aid's done. Okay. Well... Here we go. Fun time. 13 and 15. Okay, roll your damage. I think you might be being disingenuous right now. But um, 7 and 13. 
So 20, you're going to take half. So you take 10 damage and the roots are peeled away from your arm. Swim! <laughs> it does not look happy over there. <laughs> Swim, I got you what free! What the fuck are you laughing at right now? Dude? <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at right now? What are you doing? No what are you doing? Are you for inspiration? <laughs> what are you doing over it's there? It's not my fault that you left us. <laughs> you guys did all the wrong things. You left the party. You listened to Temujin. Yep, that's a wrong thing. <laughs> she wants superpowers yet. <laughs> Oh. No, that was the right answer. So what's what's going on with my arm? Is it you're slapping the copulate? Yeah, it's released. You just take you take half of the damage that he does. I got you free. Uh. Oh, Jesus, Temujin! Just Temujin will do. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Now, uh, I think is is there like a landmass that we can get on that's not just. The root stuff? Yeah. There is no landmass. They're free floating in the water. So there's water, it's a halo of root mass, and clouds and sky. Mm hmm. And you can see, it's obviously, it's like TARDIS kind of shit. Like, you can see it to the horizon. There are no walls up here. Where are all these slow fuckers? They don't know where you are. <laughs> That's why we had to cut back more to make it bright and shiny up here. Are the twig things still. Chasing them? I mean, they're moving towards the edge of the... Yeah, they're moving toward in. That's his so, face or his asshole. I got him, this guy around backwards. That's his face. Yeah, those. it's got like nine horse tails. Right. That's what I think of it. Like nugget catchers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nugget catchers. <laughs> so we were going... Real good at primer catching, too. Yeah. There's, some, there's, there's some dark gray in there that's untouched <laughs> by paint. <laughs> So Temujin went up at a 45 degree angle and then stayed there because he saw the... Mm -hmm. cut, he cut left. But not that far. But not that far. So oh, a little okay. bit. And then opened it up. So you guys are going this way. Okay. At and some you see point... a huge bright light. <laughs> yeah, at some point you're going to see like a light with two figures kind of dangling down okay. in the water. So when we swim towards them? Mm hmm? Eventually. I want to see them die first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, they are ahead of you by a couple rounds. You fall on Temujin. Why keep... Okay, so what, what do you guys do? Be my friend. Uh, I'm going to... Peel stuff away. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to yeah, do the, the slow spin. Just and blast. Pop off, uh, Let's roll initiative. Things that are coming into initiative. initiative. Yeah, Temujin's continue to... I don't want aggress. any more creeping things on you. I'm helping you. Seven. <laughs> Helping you. All right. Oh, so good. Initiative. <coughs> 14 for Tamat. 15. 15. We really just made it so that you guys would get there in some sort of timely manner. Before you could, have, you could have just been swimming indefinitely. <laughs> oh, no, the root thing is going to 10. I mean, I'm not going to die today, obviously. I don't think so. I didn't say that. Uh, It'd be Orin, hard for you to die. Orin can bring you back to life. What did Orin get? Orin has Three. to die in order for you to die. That's uh, not Gil and Myra are at a Spoken like a true DM. <laughs> Gil and Myra Linda. How many people do I have to get through in order to kill Tamat? Mm, noted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gil and Myra Linda? Um. Gil is going to be a 20, and Myrland is a 21. Oh, Marylinda goes first, and then Gil. Marylinda swims. So does Gil. Then it's Tamat. What are, so what's going on? What's the situation? So, you dumbass left the party. All right, you split so, now you're being attacked. Like a dumbass. Yeah, so <laughs> fuck the battle cam. So basically... Uh, I already have it on. What's up? It's already on. It's already on? Sweet. That's what they look like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Those are the twig things, the twig and that's the party. So there's a there's a huge hole that's about thirty feet around in the roots. Right. You swim over to the side of the big hole in the water, and you took a swing at more of the biomass, which wrapped around your arm and held your arm. At that point, two of the trees kind of turned in your direction, and the roots underneath them they don't so much 
walk towards you as the roots kind of snake around and undulate, and uh, the part of the root mass that they're on is moved in your direction, right? So they don't have to walk. They kind of like glide through the roots. Root glide. They're moving towards you. And, and I'm trying to keep They're pretty the large. Mass at bay. That's actually, they look small and cute because they're minis, but compared to you, they're pretty big. Right? They do not look cute at all. What the they hell? They totally look cute. I think they're super cute. They're adorable. Yep. Um, and they're moving in your direction. And Timogen blasts the roots off of your arm and then starts blasting at these things. So. Oh, and all the encroaching carpet of roots. Make sure it doesn't come get any closer to us. Yeah, this reminds me of. The time you guys got caught in the spider web. It's the big mass of spider web. Well. Are they on the other side of the roots, by the way? Surface level? Um, we're on the other side of the roots. Are they on the other side of the roots? They're still swimming in the hole. <clears throat> oh, they're in the hole. Yeah, yeah. they're in the hole of, of that the roots created when they moved away from uh, Tamat's swinging blade. They really didn't like your blade. So I'm going to go and I'm going to, I'm just going to go for it. Who cares? You're going to go for it? Yeah. Wait, no one. I, I mean. God damn it. Go for it. We can do all sorts of things. You have a swim <laughs> speed of 60. All yeah. Of all right. I'm going to, I'm going to swim down a little bit. WWTD. We're going to swim down a little bit. I'm pretty hurt. So. Okay. So you duck below the surface. Yep. The root mat is attempting to close. Are you going to keep it at bay by blasting? That's what, that's the whole, yeah. That's what I'm doing with the blasting. Keeping that hole open until everyone else can see the beacon of light. And I can draw them all here for the trap. I mean, for the light. Sure. <laughs> okay, so if you're continuing to blast through this, you're going to have to give me a dexterity check. Twelfth. Twelve is not enough. Come on. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> so, roots. <laughs> yeah, you're blasting, 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 and then a pseudopod of roots is going to shoot out from behind you and wrap around you and hold your Eldritch Blast hand in the air and hold you in place. So as you're diving down, what you see is Temujin is like covering you from behind or whatever, blasting at some of the roots, and then you see a shadowy root pseudopod shoot out from the edge wrap around him and hold his hand immobile in the air. Damn it. <laughs> we should have short rested. <laughs> <laughs> we took three days and now we're trying to speed through this thing. All right. We got through Who's one turn? door. Uh, <laughs> just after your turn is the monsters. monsters. We can after we got our asses. The tree monsters? Yep. yep. Didn't even get hit once. Okay. Me neither. So, um, the like the root patch that has speared forth and is wrapped around Temujin starts to solidify, and one of them moves out along it and is going to attack him. Who? Mm, me. Who? Oh no. Okay. You just <laughs> you picked an arbitrary page. Don't oh no it. <laughs> I didn't pick an arbitrary page. Mm. <laughs> oh no, this Tarasque is. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well, that's not tough. twig. It's that's a terrasque. It's a terrasque. It's a terrasque. Um, Terra means okay, land. It's going to hit you. Of course it is. It's a triasque. A triasque. Oh, it's not that bad. Not that bad. It's weird. I, sometimes I feel like the challenge ratings on these things are sort of arbitrarily assigned. Some of the low challenge ratings ones, I'm like, that's horrible. Like, the Usually chal- the higher chal- so bad. The higher challenge rating ones are usually having more to do with like their abilities, not just a toe-to-toe. If you yeah. toe-to-toe it, it's like, oh, that was actually easy. This guy does 10 bludgeoning damage to you. Splish. It hey. basically just like body slams you with its twiggy body. Fuck off. Twig man. It, like, twiggy. Tree face butted you. Psh. Tree face butt. <laughs> tree face butt. Yeah, how many... Times you get to say those three words back to back. And then it is... Oh, uh, did both of them go? Uh, just one of them went out onto the the pseudo thing and smashed Temujin in the face. The other one actually, its whole body 
sinks into the carpet of roots and it's subsumed into the root mass. Oh, weird. Nice. Uh, then it's my turn. Uh, I swim and I dash. Pull the mic closer. There you go. Swim okay. Dash. You swim dash. Swim dash. I'm assuming I'm not within 60 feet or so. You get in 60 feet. Oh. After the dash? Yeah. Okay. After the dash. Uh, let's see. Brian's got his hand locked in place by a root tentacle root thing. Dick root. If you want to break three, it's a it's a strength check. Yeah, it's not. Uh, yep. The way we do things around here. Do your thing. Instead. <laughs> So Josh said he's not using the battle map. You can have minis for reference of what we're fighting. <laughs> he's like, That's what we're fighting. We won't be using them for the actual <laughs> battlefield. Why? <laughs> oh, no. Sometimes I press back on D&D Beyond hmm. rather than the little page foldy thing. Oh, all of a sudden, yep. I'm way back. I hate, that's why I hate Just this. go slide to side. Swipe side to side. Sounds like user error. Mm. See, there you go. Oh, that's I hate things good. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you, All right. you, know, you know what's great? Dead fucking trees. You know why? <laughs> because I'm fighting a tree. All right, so here we go. This is what it looks like. Where's oh, he's going to set something up. Look yeah. at that. Temujin is caught stall. at the end of a root bridge that this thing is traveling down to headbutt him in the face. <laughs> Where's Tamat? And how will he die? Tomorrow's under the water. We'll About 30 there. feet or so. Yeah. Is he next to Oslagon for real? Yes. No. no he, doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have dark vision. He doesn't yeah, know. he doesn't know. We did make a deal with Oslagon. He Actually, does have dark vision. He does have dark vision. He's got the oh. goggles of night. Yeah. Is that right? No. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Axe is over here. He's about 60 feet away from Tamajin. Sort of in a diagonal trajectory. So 30 feet from me. Everybody else is kind of not around yet. Okay. So, got my arm pinned up. Pew, 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 pew. I mean, it's like, it's... Yeah. I yeah. mean, technically, I don't even cast it from my hand. Can you cast it from your mouth or your eye or... Yeah, it, there's... It's is a there little... a somatic component? Uh, You're restrained. Verbal somatic. Okay. What's the other one? Material. I was like, and motion? No, no, no I was confused. No, yeah, material. Okay, so I'm restrained, so it would be disadvantage? I don't know. How does that work? Uh, restrained. It says, your speed is zero. If you're actually restrained and not grappled, Am I then grappled? yes, you have a disadvantage on all attacks, and the creature has advantage on attacks against you, sure. and you have disadvantage on dex throws. She restrained. Uh, so we went f full restraint, not full just restrained. grappled. And then we get a contested check to go from grappled to restrained. You have disadvantage on your attack roll. I just wanted to make sure that... If you succeed on a strength check versus the strength of the roots, you can break free. Well, that's your action, probably. Ooh. Uh, 14. 14? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, 14 is probably enough. Roll it! Okay. Coward. All right. Well, I was thinking it should be a save, or, but yeah, sure, I'll roll it. Oh! It's enough. Snap! I break off the twig. You break free. You break yourself free of the stuff. That's your action. Can, you, can I just pause for a second? Temujin always seems to pull out these amazing strength checks for being just like this little For having a negative one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he, like, I remember a few times that he's done that. That's awesome. I only save when it matters. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ready to get fucked. I do it. Yeah. I fail my saves when it matters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and I pull down the root. characters keep dying. Okay, so you break yourself free from the nest of roots that was creeping mm -hmm. around you. I, I'm going to keep these as souvenirs, but then I'm going to send back some Eldritch Blasts at it. Okay, so next <laughs> round you're going to try it out. That's your action is breaking free. You can swim mm -hmm. away or stay there. That's it. That's the one. How close is this big tree fella? He is. He headbutted you. Oh yeah, I'll swim away. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> do you swim down or out into the middle? Out. Okay. How far out do you want to swim? 
If you swim your full 25 feet, you're five feet you're away from... to there. Yeah, middle. Okay. Cool. So, so 15, 15 and 15. 15 and yeah. 15. So let's see where you're like right there. Yeah, this is why I said we should make the hole bigger. And Josh kept saying, it's huge. It's so big. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hate to do this, but uh, they get a reaction attack. Oh, sure. As he moves away? Probably. Well, is that, that a 20? <laughs> That's a 20. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, what you get for splitting the party, you asshole. <laughs> Mm, this uh, is what you bad. get for being the slowest swimmer in the world. I, you know I'm good. slow. That's not good. So that's 16 plus 5, 21. Did you even roll the hit? <laughs> uh, that was the natural 20 that I rolled. So wait, 21? <laughs> yeah, 21. <laughs> so as you're starting to swim away, it throws out an um, arm, and the arm... Like, Just clubs me in the back of the head. <laughs> no, it grows at an insane rate and spears a hole through you <laughs> with a sharpened root end. Slash, <laughs> slash. <laughs> David <laughs> X. <laughs> the chat just said, Axe is the kid in school who reminds the teacher about homework. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Teacher, you didn't give us any homework. <laughs> <laughs> I do my fair share of that, too. Like, by the way. Yeah. Right. Yep. And I'm the kid's like, but I have a funeral to go to. <laughs> like, sorry, math comes first. <laughs> so <Some> beer. <laughs> so right, let's okay. see, that was Brian's turn. So you watch the roots at... like come through the front of your shoulder and then retract. Now we're at Orin. Oh, I can swim finally. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can swim. That's what I do. Okay, so you swim to it right nope. more or less. No, about ten feet less. Yeah. Slow. Okay. We'll make it eventually. <laughs> now we're back at the top with Maya, Linda, and Gil. Okay. Do they swim? Um, they do swim. Actually, what's the, what is the range in freezing ray? Uh, sixty. 60. Feet. Okay, so they swim. They swim. So here's a weird part. They already swam. I don't know oh, if did they... they swim. Yes, because they okay. were at the top of the round. So they're closer. Swim, swim. Gil gets swim, swim. to the beast. Marlinda will icy ray it. Mm. She's probably going to miss. She misses. Bleep. The, the icy ray goes wide. Yeah, kind of cuts into the sky. Goes through the hole, the only spot that right. she would miss. What? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. <laughs> Brian, pay attention. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah, keep you going. come in, the end of the conversation <laughs> isn't <What>? helping. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sentence. Gil makes it <laughs> to enough the, to bring me back. <laughs> to the edge, but can't do anything about it. Okay. Uh, so then we're at Tamat. <sighs> I go in and I... You can swim up to it. And I, I'll just, uh, I'm just doing some. Did you rage or no? No. Well, I'll, I'll rage. Okay. But I won't frenzy. All right. Okay. And I'll reckless attack. So I'll definitely hit everything. Uh, it's an 18 and 11, and that's a 15 and 11. So I hit and I hit. Right. 18 and 11 and 15 and 11. So he's saying he got a 29. Oh, yeah. And a 26. Yeah. That confused me at first, too. Yep. So that's rage gives you plus two, right? So what, six, and, six plus one is seven. Okay, so that's. If you're raging, you get plus 20. If you did the power attack. Uh, no, I you didn't, didn't do the power I attack. Didn't so do minus it. 10. Yeah. So plus 10. So. Okay. It's either plus 10 or plus 20 if you're raging. 16 and 16. Okay, so you hack yeah. and do it twice. Wood bits and ships go flying. Uh, as you're chopping into it, like all of the 
the branches, branch-like things that are <laughs> protruding from it, and all of the weird, like, there's foliage up here, uh, starts to vibrate quickly, and it makes a keening noise as you're hacking into it. Well, it's calling his friends. And you guys see the land, the brute mass kind of get closer. It's sort of the hole is shrinking. Also, does anybody have a perception uh, yes. of 20 no. passive? Okay. <laughs> no. Damn it. <laughs> no. It'll get easier as time goes on. We'll start right there. Does anyone have fireball? <laughs> <laughs> no, no kidding. So, let's see. That's not our party. After Tamat is the monsters. Okay. So, uh, the one that disappeared into the root mass is going to come out of the root mass underneath the bridge and attack blah, blah, blah. Tamat. And, yeah, it's going to attack Tamat twice. Did you, were you reckless? Yeah. Probably. Okay. So, slam number one. Oh, God, that's really horrible. Uh, 12, uh, 15. 15? 16. Okay, slam number two. Gives a hit. You're going to take uh, 14 divided by 2, 7 damage. Slow. Damn it, Orin. It's spearing you with its crazy root tendrils. It thrusts its wooden shaft into you. Multiple. Cool. You like it. Yeah. And do the end. And do. This one like here so uh, is going to keep moving <laughs> towards Temujin and basically just extends the root ridge out to where Temujin is. Kill them, Josh. Kill them now. <laughs> Here's two attacks. Hit and hit, I assume. 22 and more. Oh, okay. That'll do. So that's 16 for the first. And then 15 for the second. Hold on a second. <laughs> How many for the first? 16. Okay. And what, the second one? 15. Okay. You guys are underneath the water still. This is the shrinking sort of uh, hole. It's starting to close up. The root mass is sort of closing in around the edges, and you guys can see coming with the shrinking, uh, edges of the shrinking root mass are other figures. Are you getting this killed, man? Is that what's going on? Um, Your inspiration begging is getting <laughs> us killed? <laughs> I'd like to just remind you that uh, he gets an opportunity to attack. Anybody, <laughs> anybody have a passive of 19? Oh, no. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. So after the monsters is me, I will do shatter on that group above us. This group mass over here? Yep. They're okay. above us, right? Like, yeah, they're right above you. The surface is them. closing, but you can see them okay. kind of moving with the edge of the root mass. You're going to shatter. Yep, get okay. as many in there as I can. All right, what's shatter? What's the... Uh, it's a constitution save. Cool. It's a 10-foot radius sphere. So diameter of 20 feet. Uh, takes thunder damage on a failed save, half as much on a successful Which one. Which one of those would you like to hit? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can hit one. Oh, I can only hit one? Well, look where they're at. Or the roots five between ten, them. I'm trying to hit the roots right here. You could split it in half uh, or pick one. Uh, I'll do something else then. I'll do Scorching Ray. I'll okay. do... Huh? Okay. Uh, I'll do one on the one that uh, Temujin is... I hate to be that guy, on. but can you cast Scorching Ray while you're underwater? <laughs> yeah, you can cast Scorching Ray. <laughs> magic. It's just magic. <laughs> it's like a magnesium flare. Mm. I think Temujin's is mad because that thing's all up on his ass. <laughs> yeah. I'll do uh, at the ones that they're fighting instead then. I'll do... Okay. Two on the one that Tamat's fighting and one on the one Temujin's fighting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait, what about Scorching the ones around. above us? Hit them. <laughs> eh, they're not close enough yet. <laughs> so you make a range attack for each ray. There's uh, three rays. So this will be the two for Tamat's. 
<laughs> Did you double up? No, I two and one. I rolled a two and a one. Uh, wow. So let's see if the one is an actual botch. It is. Yes, yep. indeed. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three is Tamat. Four, five, six is Gil. Well, <laughs> please, Gil. Gil. <laughs> all right, Thank all your God. damage against Gil. I am just dropping dice all over today. <laughs> If you do that to me, I die. <laughs> Just so you know. Really? He's super hurt. I'm oh, super I'm hurt too. Though. I'm I'm unconscious in the water right oh, now. Oh, are you unconscious in the water? Yeah. Okay. You're unconscious? Yeah. What the hell happened? <laughs> I Wait, do we, for one second? We don't lose our gills. So, though, do we? so nope. Gil would take five fire damage. Okay. And then I do the one near damage. Gil, Gil screams. <laughs> All right. One. <laughs> oh! Natural one. I would. Oh, not see don't that botch! Coming. Don't botch! Oh, oh my god. So not a bot. So <laughs> a, a robot a robot just kills everyone. <laughs> like, I, I am through with these mortals. <laughs> Start beaming all of your <laughs> sleeper <laughs> agent protocol activated. Yeah, right. I can't let you do this, Ten Agent. <laughs> oh, what about the three laws of robotics? <laughs> <laughs> Screw those. He's Taliban. Uh, so that is my Scott turn. Taliban. <laughs> Caliban. Caliban. Okay. Yeah, it's an Asimov book where one of the robots didn't have the three laws of robotics hardwired in. So you didn't call Taliban. Taliban. No. <laughs> Caliban. Cali- That's the name Cali- of the... Uh, Caliban. That's the name now of Now it's the... Brian's turn. Why are you rolling death saves? You don't do that. You automatically stabilize at the end of your turn. <laughs> oh, I would have stabilized anyway <laughs> because I rolled like a god. Okay. Did you roll uh, an angel 20? So I am... Because then you get a hit point. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, okay. But he doesn't roll saves anyway, so... Right, so, you just stabilize. So I just... So you three successes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I just uh, fast forward. It is hefting him out of the water by the root tendrils that are impaled in his body. You got fucked up, man. Now it's Orin. Mm-hmm. All because you don't have the swim speed. <laughs> I you can that if you want swim because that's what I do. Okay. You're the goodest swimmer in the whole wide world. And you the, swim. If Gil couldn't even make it to that tree creature. With a swim dash, then I'm still far behind. Uh, you you can be within what? These guys were sixty. You were ten more, so you're fifty five feet away after one move. You can be thirty feet away with another move. Okay. Okay. I move. All right. We'll make it eventually. And then we're back at the top with uh, hallucinating, or is there a sound going on? Meyer Linda and Gil. Matt. You're going to oh. what now? Yep. Air leak. Yep. Okay. Uh, Meyer Linda and Gil. Meyer Linda and Gil. holding your breath over here, man? Okay, Meyer Linda is going to shoot the one holding the damage in. We're all going to die. Everybody dies. But who truly lives? She hits. Everyone dies for damage in. He's unable. We. Okay, this guy gets some frosty ice bits on him. Some of his branch bits break off. Uh, so we got Gil, Meyer, Linda, then it's Tamat. Oh yeah, Gil's gonna try and stab. Stab a tree. Gil does stab the tree. Carve your initials. Gil was here. He carves his initials deeply into the tree. <laughs> Gil plus eater of souls. So, rip, rip, he chops off a bunch of pieces of it. It makes that keening noise again. <laughs> A lot of hit points. Okay. Great weapons master. Oh, it's my turn, right? Yep. Great weapons master. Two times. Uh, sixteen. Roll your damage. Don't tell me what to do, Dad. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight damage. You. Yep. Okay. That's a hit. 26. Tomat's a murder machine. Okay. It looks badly damaged. And then it's the monster's turn. Oh! And this is where I go down. What are you doing? This is your Tomat. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> You're an ass cleric, okay? <laughs> yes, we're happened. all hurt, and yes, it's your fault. Do you fault. remember me so <laughs> insane? Wow, it's really funny that our robot's the only one that heals me. <laughs> you went on, ditched us. For the crowd, 
let's talk about what's happening here. These guys engaged in one fight against monsters that were mostly designed to sap their resources, and afterwards, when they had the opportunity to take a short rest and perhaps replenish some of their hit points, they instead decided to push on. They again met something that they weren't quite sure if it was hostile or not, and they attacked the fuck out of it. And so now, <laughs> wait, wait, you forgot everybody's to split going the down. party part. Oh, and split the party. Yeah, they split the mm-hmm. party too. Mm-hmm. So all the things you shouldn't do. We're just teaching you how not to play. D&D. Right, don't play D and D like this. <laughs> no, want the I will say that, that <laughs> playing a uh, minor encounter where literally one person gets hit and then you take a short rest every time is the coward's way to play this game. That was not. I wouldn't what even happened. invite you to, to my table. Wouldn't even do it. You wouldn't be allowed here. <laughs> He's a cock. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's we have the world is ending. ending. Text messages the world are coming is out. Ending. Okay. We got stuff to do. Okay, so stuff where were we? Stuff to do. <laughs> uh, monsters, yep. Monsters. So um, there's a hit on you, <laughs> and then there's another hit. Sixteens? Uh, easily, yeah. Oh, easily. Well, they have advantage to hit you. You have advantage to hit them. When you're reckless, you gotta pay the piper, man. You have to pay the piper. When you DM, <laughs> I will. Okay. <laughs> so never. <laughs> I'll DM. Obviously, we're Just gonna all die. It's probably gonna be next week, man. I call so one-shot DM next week. So there's nine damage against you. Divided by two is four. And then there's 17 divided by two is eight. So take four and eight. That's 12 all together. Are you still up? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and then this one over here pulls you into its woody embrace. <laughs> Become one with the woody. Oh, get woody. <laughs> get woody up in here. There's not much it could do to you. It, Getting woody with it. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know what? It probably lets you go and turns against you. It's like, ah, oh, this guy sucks. Yeah, it's going to eat <laughs> This on toy you. doesn't even fight back. So you bloop into the water and start to sink, but it's not a big deal. Um, Miss. No, hit. And crit. Oh, get mm. Can I recommend they target Meyer Linda instead That's of 10. Gil? She's with us. And then. <laughs> yeah. AoE down damage. there. <laughs> slow, slow. Gil is badly hurt. Gil, no, I need you to be my next PC. <laughs> <laughs> Retreat, fall back. Gil is badly wounded. Uh, monsters come closer. Uh, oh yeah. Does anybody have a passive of eighteen? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think you have the highest passive. It's perception. not an 18. <laughs> what is it? 17. Okay. Next turn. Next turn. Yep. Monsters come closer. Do they get any closer together as well as they're? Sure. Yeah. It's so nice. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to catch yourself in the blast. Well, they're still <laughs> down. Okay. So from a 3D perspective, they're moving this way. That's what I kept asking. Are we below them? Yes. Uh, so... You know, now that I think about it, I'm not actually even going to cast it. <laughs> cool. So, uh, I'm going to do Ray of Frost on whichever one looks most hurt. Uh, this one is badly hurt. You know what we really lack in? AoE. Yes. Fire damage. <laughs> uh, yes. That is AOA. 24 to hit. 24 to hit, you hit him. Uh... 13 damage. Okay. It shatters. Ice shards fly in every direction. And then because uh, I did a cantrip, I'm going to do bonus action healing word on Temujin. You get nine hit points back. Oh, the sweet release of sleep is gone once again. (laughs) 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 I figured you wanted to It's the only time you sleep. (laughs) This is why I go hang out with my tree bros. <laughs> How, many then, that? Uh, huh? How much was that? Uh, nine. Oh. <laughs> All right. And then it's uh, Temujin's turn. Good timing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Speaking of AoE. <laughs> That's not my fault. How is not? It's not your fault? It's definitely not my fault. Oh my god. It is too. I deal nine damage to tomorrow. 
fuck this guy. <laughs> I, I turn around, I get pissed off like my cleric's not doing his job. <laughs> you stupid. This guy that hates magic. All right, so I am... I'm. Oh, this is hard because it's a 3D battlefield. How close am I to everything, I guess? Anything. Uh, What's going on over here? You're probably like five feet below the surface. You sunk a little bit. Okay. Um... Oh, so first, uh, without using a full action perception check, what? How many of these guys do, do I see? All of them? Some of them? You see all of them? Okay. Uh, What's your passive perception? Fifteen. Okay. Next round. Next I'll round. know all the things. And it'll change what I'm gonna do. Might. Um. And so we have, I'm just trying to see, rain. oh, it's, that's a touch. Never mind. All right. So I'm going to, over those far three, mm-hmm. hopefully somewhere over in there, I'm going to make the orb of death. Over of Hadar. All three more. of these? You're going to get all three of them? Uh, it's a 20-foot radius. You can, probably. So, yeah. Yeah, you can get all three of them. Deck save of... Uh, 19, I believe. I gotta see. My deck save. I gotta look at the old sheet, because the one thing that I can't get to Great show up on sheet. Beyond is my actual decks, or my saves and stuff. Because my spells are all goofy. What's your intelligence modifier? Six. Plus eight is 14. What's your proficiency? Three. Uh, so, so six plus eight, fourteen plus three is seventeen, and is it plus one because you have a wand? I have a plus one for something rod. Yeah, so so eighteen, so eighteen, probably eighteen. Mm-hmm. Is right. it, yeah, is it? Eight? Yeah, it's eighteen. So deck saves of eighteen, stupid slow trees. Mm. No, no, no. Then that'll do it. So, 20-foot radius sphere, blah, 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 the bad news opens. Sport Void, you can watch for fabric of space, area is difficult terrain, and the creature that starts their turn takes 2d6 cold damage, and the creature that ends their turn will succeed on another deck save. Yada, 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 yada. More 2d6 damages. Okay. So right now it's just opening up. <laughs> When they start their turn and end their turn, it gets worse. And then it's Orin. Has a perception? Uh, they haven't moved again yet. Damn it. All right, then I'm going to tack on to what he did and go, wall of fire. <laughs> Keep him in. Around here? Ooh. Yep. Okay. So okay. all the uh, heat will emanate from the inside, and the we'll outside won't affect okay. us. All right. You hit these three guys. Good thing so, you're down. That's wall a, of fuck. I would take damage <laughs> if I went in there, huh? Mm-hmm. You, yeah, you got other mm-hmm. things to deal with, man. And yeah, if you swing, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. They don't do that well. Fail, fail. What's your DC? Sixteen. Fail, fail. Succeed. I right, think so. No, nope, fail, fail, fail. It's ten. Plus 11 is 21. So 25 fire damage. Okay. I hope they burn. They are twigs, right? And then... You can hear a horrible shrieking keening noise. Each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of the inside, or if they pass through it. Okay. Poor Gil. Gil's not in there. Okay. <laughs> if he stabs into there, he'll burn himself up. And it's Gil's. Poor Gil. Or, yeah, multiple. Meyer Linda. Linda. Gil. Uh, okay, so Meyer Linda is going to try to freeze one. Beep. Oh, God. We're just, we are dropping some dice today, boys. Dropping dice, dropping like She flies. fails. Why do you suck, Meyer Linda? And now it's Gil? Yep. 
Gil moves away. He's Good like, Fuck don't want to be noise. around that crazy necrotic damaging fire um, thing. He gets a shot at him. He doesn't uh, bonus action disengage? No, oh, I guess he can. Thanks. Gil moves away. <laughs> ah. See? He also <laughs> helps us. <laughs> <laughs> the axe giveth and the axe taketh away. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, yeah. Gil starts to swim down. Okay. You're like, teacher, there's homework. And everybody's like, ah. But then you're like, <laughs> But the homework's to eat ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Tomat. Tomat follows Gil. You don't want to go on the fire? Cut it hell. Swims down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Heal me. Why'd you knock him down? <laughs> he's he's swimming down. Oh, okay. Swimming down. How far down do you swim? I follow Gil. Gil can only swim fifteen. I follow Gil. Okay, you stay with Gil. All right. Okay. Then we're at. Me, how far away is Tamat from me? Uh, I don't know about that far. Maybe a little farther. Actually, no, because you did. Did you ever get closer than sixty feet? Uh, I didn't say I did, so probably not. No, she's far away. Okay, forty-five feet, give or take. So I'll get within fifteen feet of him then. Brian, you got an inspiration uh, finally. Do you have to double swim? What? Yep, double swim. Okay. Okay. Well, they didn't cave the map finally. Yeah. Who brought, who brought the, the Ray man. Ray Ray Ray, good old Ray man. All up in my inspirational grill. I oh. shall use it poorly. Your Actually, honor. monsters are before me. Sorry, monsters are before you. I missed that. Seventeen passive perception. Seventeen. That's me. Okay, this is what you notice. The whole mat starts to shift like this. Oh shit! And uh, the surface of the water. Is doing that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, Over here, it's doing this. So I'm guessing there's a wave. Okay, I was thinking more like a vortex. Is oh. it on one side or is it on all sides? It's on this side. There's a massive wave coming towards you guys. You can hear it now too. There's a rumbling. It's a rumbling. I guess. What do we do with that information? <laughs> <laughs> it's the white cap on the top of the wave. There's a wave. Okay. And then I swam up. Is it, is it <laughs> fucking up all the roots up and right stuff? Now. The mat's just right in the top of the water. I thought the mat was like the 20 feet under cap. the surface. No, the mat of roots is just the <laughs> Man, surface. Man, the mind is oh, awesome. Huh? It's doing this. <laughs> it's basically a series of lily pads on top of the water. Gotcha. Yeah, yes. No, the roots are not 60 feet deep. Well, the wave's going to get fucked up when it goes through my wall, that's for sure. Um, uh, I, I mean, that's certainly a possibility. So well, the roots are going to go swimming right through it. Yeah, we're going to rip a new hole. Rip a new hole. We found a way to get up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after I swim up and get within 15 feet of those two, uh, now it's Brian's turn. Temujin. Temujin, right. Temujin. So, did none of those guys go? On their turn? Okay. We're just, oh. Did nice they try to go through the wall at least? Nope. Sorry, just oh, just they just ended their turn there and died? No, they sunk into the roots. But you guys can't see what's going on there. It's totally black. It's the Hunger of Hadar. And then it's uh, bright on the outside. Yeah, <laughs> and the outside's a firewall. <laughs> so, and Sweet. these guys are also going to sink into the roots. I'm going to swim straight down. But this is what happens. This starts to close more. The roots over here are getting blasted by fire and stuff. They're not closing. This is starting to close. You swim straight down? Yeah, because I don't want to get hit by the almost all of the force of the wave is at the surface. He never okay. told us there's a wave. Um, Passive perception. I did say I said there's a wave. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Not that kind. The real kind. Bad. Yeah, again. yeah. I'll swim down. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Into the dark. Away from everything. Uh, <laughs> Don't move away with your nine hit points. After <laughs> Brian is uh, Orin. Do you? Uh. I see single move away. Okay. Just still. 30, 25? 25. With the water moving, 
and shifting mm -hmm. and the wave. Is it more like just the surface or do I see an undercurrent coming as well? There is, this side is dipping as the side is coming up. So there is an undercurrent. It's going to pull you guys away. How far down? Because we're pretty far, right? I mean, you guys are now, so it's weird because when you're below the surface, you're in the room. Right? Mm -hmm. And what were you? Maybe 120 feet up? Something like that? Yeah. It was so, never specified. Let's say about 120 feet up from the bottom where you started. Mm -mm, that is getting tricky. Mm. Does it look like I'm in the current trajectory of that wave? Everybody is. It's huge. It's Can massive. Can I swim down and be out of the way? You can no? swim down. But would it still catch me in the undercurrent? I mean, if there is an undercurrent in the room, then yes. It would be the whole room. I'll at least stay by my Linda. Okay. She's as slow as me, right? Yep. <laughs> She's a little faster than you, but not by I much. Die with this little girl. I will hold my action for when the wave hits. I don't know what I'll do. That's <laughs> not going to hit in this turn. No? Oh, I thought it was coming right now. It's massive. It's slowly. I'll hit this guy with a little bit of a wheel for when he definitely gets hit by the wave. Are you close enough? Yeah, it's 60 feet. Okay. So I'll give him a healing word. The level of the water is dropping, though, as uh, as things start to ramp. Everything is kind of curling in that direction. The level of water is dropping. Okay. Kind of like when a wave starts to show up on the shore, it sucks all the water towards it. I have six hit mm. points. And then we're back at the top with Gil and Meyer Linda. They swim down. I follow Gil. Yep. Damn it, I'm going to be stuck up here by myself. <laughs> You're going to resurface in a minute. Uh, then it is the monster turn. They're not there. What yep. monsters? So then it's me. Uh, who is near me? Um, it's just kind down. of clumped up together now. Yeah, everybody's sort of swinging mm -hmm. down. So these guys are swinging past you, Myrland and Gil. I kind of swing past where you were. And I'm following Gil. Okay. Um, is Orin within a certain range of me? Like, I, can I reach him with a touch spell? Uh, if you swim towards him, he's close to the surface. He did not move down. Everybody else did. Hmm. Man. <laughs> I swam up though. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I was say. within. Wave. <laughs> we'll see you it's like there's me. a wave, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this did not work out like I thought in my mind at all. So is he above me now? A little bit above you. Yeah. Okay. Grab his ankles. Can I reach up and touch him and then sure. swim down? Reach up and touch them. Uh, I'm gonna cast long strider on you. What's that do? Uh, you faster. get an extra ten movement speed. Yay! It's just on ground. Uh, it says the target speed increases by 10, so it'd be an extra 5 feet for swimming. So I'm as fast as you guys now. Yep. yep. Uh, so let's see. And then I swim down. Mark off that I cast that. And then we're at Brian Timogen. Am I... I mean, I swam down 25. Is that... How is that compared to the dropping water level? You're 15 below the surface. So I swam. I went. I was 10 below. I swam 25 you were five below. So maybe you're five. You're 20 below the surface. It's dropping 10 feet around. So in theory. Fuck. And who's next to me? Who's nearest to me? Hmm. Uh, okay. I stop. I swim up as fast as I can. And I cast fly on us because that's the only person I can touch. And I'm going up and I'm going to try to get over this fucker thing. Mm, holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because the water's coming down behind me. I think we can make it. And I burst through the hole. 
Okay. We'll find out if you take any damage. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Ryan. Do you follow him up? Well, fuck yeah, I follow him up. <laughs> we okay, can fly. So you guys... Plus, I can fly at 80 or 70. You guys yeah, are going fast fly. up. All right, so the two of you are going to break the surface. Token thing. Token holder. Yay. You guys will break the surface. So these guys turn around and jet towards the surface. <laughs> Bye. Hope we don't need any more spells from me because that was it. <laughs> this closes. Oh, fuck. I made it just in time. <laughs> What do we see? A wave. <laughs> it's a mountain. It on the no wave. Turn. It's a mountain. What was that? It closes on the monster's turn. So when is the monster's turn? Uh, after Gil, Myrlinda, and Tamat. Then it's Gil and Myrlinda continue to swim down. I'll go with Myrlinda and Gil. Okay. So then it's the monsters. Yeah. Okay. So the hole closes. The wave gets closer. And what you guys see is like a monolithic towering wave. It looks like the whole horizon just moved up. Like, it's massive. Ginormous. As you start to gain speed and moving up away from the surface of the water, you can see, like, other mats of roots around you. Um, is my wall of fire still there? I mean, your wall of fire is... Yeah, sure. Uh, does it, move? it moves to the surface of the mat, probably. Because the whole map's dropping, so it's not just sitting in the air. Okay. My thing's gone, by the way. Okay, your thing is gone. Right, because you can't concentrate anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so the wall of fire is moving down. It's cooking the surface of the map there. It's burning up roots and stuff like that. It catches Tamat. <laughs> <laughs> I think it doesn't actually move with the surface. It doesn't move nope. with the surface? It just stays where I put it. Okay, so it's a ring in the air. Nice. Does it just stay there while the world spins underneath it? <laughs> just rips a line through the surface of the planet. I'm going to rule actually that it goes with the mat. Kind of like it would go with a ship if you put it on the surface of a ship. Okay. So it goes with the mat. It's dropping. Um, yeah, you see other mats kind of off in the distance and this massive wave coming. It's ginormous. You have no idea how large it is because it's still five rounds away and it's moving super fast. So the scale is just, just boggling your mind. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know if we can avoid that I one. Think, uh, I don't know how to. Well, so. We need that rod. <laughs> Any last words? <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you really wanted to say to me? You guys can <laughs> try and make it. We are trying to make it. Yeah, right. If I fucking die, I don't want to go to where you're going. <laughs> make sure to end me quick. Make sure to end me quick. <laughs> I pull out my my rod. <laughs> Not like that. I don't want to go where you're going. No. Yeah. So after monsters is me, mm. I swim down. Then it's Brian and Ryan. So Orin and Temujin. Uh, oh, yeah. Up, 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 up. Okay, so guys. Up, 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 up. Yep. So you can go 140. You can go 120. Yep. Is that how it works? Mm-hmm. Climbing, 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 climbing. Oh. And it just says target speed, not movement speed, so. I think that would it. Yeah. Work for flying. Mm-hmm. I look at you as we're flying. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. I just got this mental image of just. Mm-hmm. And then the wave comes along and takes damage. It just like freaks me out. <laughs> <And we're> like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, it'll be like this. It'll be like, Sloop. the water level will drop precipitously and he'd... <laughs> <laughs> You'll then have to fall. <laughs> it would be like hitting concrete. Mm. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Uh. <laughs> He's done my good spells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. It's time for a backup plan. <laughs> As I'm flying, you, did you cut your rib open? Mm-hmm. Time for a backup, Timogen. Avocado, go. <laughs> Do you really? <coughs> you mm-hmm. might kill yourself from doing that. You take damage, don't you? Not that much. So you don't have that much. Do you put? <laughs> You don't put the apricot, put, you put the avocado in there. Uh, I guess I don't know which one's which. The ones we just got. Oh, those are the apricots. Okay. Yep. That's what. I, that's the one I have. you keep on reopening it? <laughs> well, because you have something else on you. You have a different vegetation bundle, don't you? I don't think so. Oh, I thought you took one to give to Meyer Linda at some point and never did. 
I think I, you I think did. something happens with that one. Did you give it to Oz? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to give this to Oz too, sort of. Or I'm going to give him a seed in this I mean, world to grow from. <laughs> you've been touching them and nothing has happened. I'm putting him, I'm putting it right in there. If it's going to clone anything, it can clone him instead into, okay. the, into our universe. Okay. So you watch, <laughs> you watch Temujin like open his ribs. Take four damage. Uh, oh, to get to, to get to his floating rib. <laughs> Is that enough? Not quite. Okay, he's hurt Fine. badly. And so then, Constitution save. Oh yeah. That Still. would be the best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> seriously, it's raisin. Okay. Yeah, my boy, Ray Ray. <laughs> That would have been the best. You're like, I gotta oh! fall back into oh the flaming God. mat. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, <all right. laughs> so you're good. You're good, dude. You, you see, good. Him, you see him good. slice open his this side. This isn't good either. None of this is good. <laughs> what should be his rib cage, but what you see instead is a writhing nest of black tentacles, and he feeds the tentacles the weird wooden nugget that he got from. Um, from one of the gibbering mouthers. Yeah. And the tentacles wrap around it and pull it into his side yeah. and then seal the wound. I'm not sure who eats what. I don't know if it's going to try to clone uh, Oz into this world or if this is going to take a copy of its brother. And but I, it's just, I know I'm about out of time. And so we're going to see what, what happens when you just roll all the dice that's left. How high up are we? Uh, so you far, about know. 200 something. Yeah. And the wave is four rounds away. And you're climbing rapidly, trying to outpace it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the order it is is Gil, Marlinda, Tamat, and then the wave, mm-hmm. and then me. So they all swim down as a group. I swim down after them. I just started counting the wave on their turn to make it easy. Yeah, yeah. They, you can just focus on them. We're just going down. Okay, yeah, so you guys are swimming down. Yep. As you guys are swimming down as fast as you possibly can. The level of water keeps dropping. Mm-hmm. You can see a flaming hole in the mat <laughs> of roots that's above your head. Does it like, burn? We're trying to get back to the bridge. I'm, I'm assuming. Burning ring of fire. Are you guys trying to get all the way down back to the? Well, we're finally. I'm, I'm following back to that hallway. I'm following Gil and Meyer Linda. So whatever they're doing, I'm going right behind. They're just swimming know. straight down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm okay. swimming straight down too. Yeah. All right. You guys are continuing to climb, continuing to climb. I'm pouring over my spells, and I, yeah, just, like, I'm, I'm, I've got nothing. <laughs> I um. Are you are you slowly leaving me behind, or are we flying together? No, I'll stay near. I hand you my wand of web. <laughs> wand of what? Web. Oh, okay. What I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but if. I don't make it. You might be able to catch yourself or slow yourself down or something. We're gonna die. I told you before we all die. This this whole experiment has just been a biting of our time and we get to see how long the foam lasts on top of the beer. Keep rising. Okay, you guys are just shooting for the heavens. Mm-hmm. You're going to make about 120 feet around. So five rounds times 120 feet is what? Uh, 600 feet? Mm -hmm. You guys are going to clear the top of the wave. It's a near thing. (laughs) It's within 20 or 30 feet of the tips of your toes. We we can land on the very top as it goes by. Kick off. (laughs) 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 But you guys make it up past the top of the wave. And the wave passes you by. A bunch of the mats kind of bob up are caught in the foam, but sort of burst through and come down the other side. Um, what's the duration of Firewall? A minute. Okay. It's gonna, it'll, it'll pass. Right about the time you guys break the top of the wave. Sweet. Okay. I can't do nothing about it. Cool. You guys made it. From up, so 600 feet up. Is there... Anything in any direction? You just see mats dotting the top of the water for as far as you can see uh, in every direction. There is no land. Uh, you guys can see uh, some birds 
flying around with you. They're not harpies. <laughs> <laughs> No, birds. but they're they're strange sorts of. They look kind of more mammal than bird. They have the overall shape of a bird, but their wings are made of a membrane, sort of like a bat, and they're covered with a fine downy fur. Uh, instead of beaks, they have kind of strange canine-like muzzles, and they have two tails that look sort of like rats' tails that move out in the in the wind. Birds, Whoa. but nothing like birds. <laughs> like imagine a not bird, bird-like. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine nothing like a bird, but it's flying. By bird, I mean they look like they're taking up the same ecological niche that a bird would. Mm. They're flying things. So not Alfred Hitchcock um, birds. Is there? They don't bother you too much. Does you, the, the at some point, you like burst a through a sun pack here? of them. Uh, so there is a sun in the sky, and there's also three smaller things that look sort of moon-sized. Mm-hmm. That are off by one of the horizons. That are are atypical to my experience. Yes. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Right. There are astrological signs that you're not you're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Mm. You said a flock of these birds. You, you'll fly them? through them at one point as you're trying to climb past the are they tip of like the wave. As big as us, big as like this. No, they're small. They're like, yeah, like you know. I could grab one. <laughs> you could grab one. It might fight back, but you could. Stuff it in your They'll room. mostly leave you alone <laughs> if you leave them alone, is what I'm saying. Okay, that's good. You got any of that magic that's good for <laughs> fixing me <laughs> while we're up here? No. You're such a fucking liar. <laughs> Do you want to lie to him? <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't have anything that can fix you. I don't think you can be fixed, Telegram. Roll a deception. Mm <laughs> hmm. You know what he means. Boomerang. <laughs> I hit him. You hit him? I hit him. Holy shit, it's going down. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what? Keeping the initiative order. Who's first? Uh, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. But if Oren starts yeah, it. He, yeah. Okay. He, he's initiated. So what happens is we start at the top of the round and on your turn you're clear surprise. Sure. Strike him. Strike me down and I become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> I don't think I can kill you. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Is that the twenty? No. no it's, it's, a, uh, it's a twelve. Okay, you're gonna miss. Twelve. Or did twelve hit you? No, twelve doesn't hit me. <laughs> okay. Well yeah, so This is it. Do I have my shield? Oh my on? god. I would say neither of you probably have your shields equipped. Then it hits me. <sighs> Roll your damage. Boom. You say it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Thunder damage. I'm rolling my concentration. You don't have to. <laughs> you know he's it's going to knock happen. you out, and then he's going to fall to his death. <laughs> I'm going to live. No, you won't. <laughs> You're going to fall 600 feet. Yeah, it caps at 120. <laughs> Into a... No, that's all right. I'll, I'll guide Josh after. <laughs> what the F, dude? No, you're going to fall through your ring of fire. Did you get no, me at least five, oh, five okay. points of damage? At least five. <laughs> Did you hit me for five? Okay. I got at least five in there. Okay. I take five. She's like, I don't think you can be fixed. Scoof! As soon as your hammer hits him... And blasts him stupid, you start to fall. Yep, we're both falling. I'm actually gonna reach out and grab him while we're going down. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna have to give me a dexterity check. You, are you gonna make me break your fall? <laughs> <laughs> Knees to the back. I win. Uh, dex natural 20. Okay, you grab him on the way down. Okay, I so you strike him once. the knife out of his belt. Hold on a second. Uh, so he strikes you. Top of the order, you stabilize. Your turn, you grab him. You're falling. I rip the knife out of his belt, and I mm-hmm. cut open his rib where he just inserted whatever that thing is. Okay. So you attack me. <laughs> All right. So you cut open his rib. And I rip whatever is in it out. Oh, yes. Expose your naked hand to my, my darkness inside. You put your hand in there? There's I a, a nest of writhing tentacles on his insides. Oh. They're like... That's <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> this is not normal. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> We may hate each other, but you're still my friend. I'm going to try to save you. Okay. Against your will. (laughs) I'm going to rape save you. (laughs) I reach in and grab it and rip it out. Okay. So you reach in and you grab it. And as 
You reach into the nasty, oily tentacles that are sliming all over your hand. Oh, that are, this is disgusting. They can get like a bunch of little tongues, and you grab a hold of what you think might be a rib. It grabs you back, and you guys are in a room. God <sighs> damn it. <laughs> <sighs> My wait there. So you guys, <laughs> right? As you're swimming down, the water level of this room is dropping precipitously, and you can see the mat of roots dropping as well. I'm next to Myra Linda. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna <clears throat> hold on tight, Myra Linda, and I grab Gil as well, and we're all like, and you go fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So they're leaving you behind, Axe. Mm-hmm. Oh no. What happened right. to Boomerang? Because he said it as I hit him. You guys are on different like, planes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. Not within a mile. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way. Okay, so you guys are swimming down, down, down. Uh, you're going to get to the doorway that leads into that hallway. We're going to go in that doorway that leads to the hallway. Protect okay. Gil at all costs. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And okay. save me someone, too. <laughs> yeah. My you're Linda. You're Meyer Linda. <laughs> It's been a long time since we've allowed a gender bend. <laughs> right? You know, it's it's an eye campaign, so I mean, kind hey, of fits, I can right? Do it. Wait, you're the cam girl. Little girl. <laughs> Sick. We'll trade. You'll be the cam girl. No way. Okay, dude, so I'm you not. get into the room. Axe is still behind you. He's still in the room. Do you wait or do you close the door? I'll wait. Okay, you wait. The water level is starting to drop faster. At this point, it's okay. keeping pace with you. You're about 20 feet below the surface of the water. How far away am I from the door? I don't know, 40 feet. 40 feet? Yep. Uh, Let's see. So I'll... It's not going to help me at all. You can see shapes rushing towards the doorway in the water around you. Hmm. That's us. No. You're already in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Axe, you got to get there, buddy. Uh, so I can do long stride around myself to give myself 40 movement. But? But that uses my action, so I can't dash. You move 20, right. So I'd move 20. Or and you then could I would move have... 15 and 15 yeah. and be within 10 of the doorway. Yeah. Hmm? Which I think is actually a better option. Okay. So you see Axe swimming ponderously towards you. And you see shapes in the water rushing the doorway much faster than him. You have a choice. You can either shut the door and keep everybody on the other side of it, or you can allow these shapes that will be axed to the doorway into the hallway with you if you wait for him. Why did you have to put me in a moral position (laughs) when it's Alex? (laughs) It's Alex! It's It's Alex! It's also Meyer Linda. Right. But have it had it been Brian? <laughs> I'd be like, I'm shutting the door. <laughs> right? After you know that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Had yeah. it been Ryan, yeah. I would have shut the door before you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I get it first. Good. <laughs> hey man. Am I allowed to shut the door? <laughs> what? But we're talking about Alex. Ugh. Actually, Flashback to your vision. What? what? You flash back to your vision. The face of a little girl begging you to help her. Shut the door. <laughs> See, I mean, Alex, I just want to say we got a new campaign coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, what I... I'll say I move the 15, and then I ready a spell. But... Uh, Okay. I don't. You ready to spell? What spell do you ready and what's the trigger? Uh, thunder wave for when they come close to me. So when they pass you, you're going to try and thunder wave them? Yep. I'm going to try to knock them out. Push them away from you. Yep. Okay. I mean, it looks like minnows rushing towards the breach in a pool, like mm-hmm. the m- amount of uh, aquiline individuals that are racing towards you is extreme. Oh, it's uh, like more than seven kind of thing? It's a lot. Yes, more than seven. Okay. But yeah, I'll still do that. Okay. So he slows down. That's what you see. 
He stops he's, swimming as fast. He's not even giving you the option. He, he's making it so you know you have to close. I know it's going to be one more turn, so. Yes. Feel the pain. <laughs> Come, Come on, to the Josh. dark side. <laughs> Come on, Josh. I'm going to start crying here. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're, it's one of those. I'm waiting moments. to the last possible moment. You let me know when the last possible moment is. Before one of those creatures gets in the doorway? Like, so I can shut the. So he's going to see the things go by me, my spell's going to go off, and then he's going to make his choice of shutting so it So you or hold not, your basically. action. Mm-hmm. And you're like, come on, come on, come on. All right. You see all these shapes rushing past Alex. The spell's going to go off. Yep. Ax. So he pushes Thunder a bunch of them away from him, but there's a bunch that are coming at trajectories that are not covered by the spell that are going to get into the doorway four. before he yeah. gets there. Cast a spell, so. Uh, so it's 15 foot cube originating for me. They make a con save. Okay. Oh, epic fail. You bloody the water with their corpses. <laughs> so. How much damage do you? Seven. Okay. So you see, <laughs> around him, it pushes a bunch of them away, oh, cool. and they're bleeding and broken, and it's the sharp people. That's what you can tell now, is rushing towards the doorway, but there are a bunch that are rushing out along the wall and stuff like that. You can see them cutting a trajectory that isn't hit by his cube of force, and they're going to make the doorway. Marlinda, stay back. Six, seven, five, three, four. Oh. Oh, I thought you were counting down. I was like, it's the worst <laughs> countdown yeah, I've ever heard. So tomat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> what, uh, All right. The door closes. <laughs> None of them make it in. You just hear the thunder of. <laughs> yeah, they're they're hammering on the door. You see the door close. Okay. And a bunch of the fish people are hammering on the door. Some of them swim away in other directions as soon as the door is closed. Some of them are knocking frantically on the door. A bunch of them grab the floor, which is a grill, and they hang onto the floor. Because uh, at this point, the force of the incoming wave is pulling you away from the doorway. Okay, so I'm going to grab the bottom of the grate like they do. Okay, so you swim down and grab the grate? Mm-hmm. All right, you grab the grate. Strength check. Deploy anchor. No kidding. <laughs> it's going to say, do I have the time to cast do I have a enhance ability piece? beforehand? Uh, what? <laughs> No. <laughs> no one no. What does it have? Somatic components? Uh verbal somatic material. No. So you can either hang on to the floor or cast the spell. Okay. So I will hang on to the floor. So there's a nineteen that I rolled. Nice. So you can hang on. Plus three. So twenty two. At this point, all of uh you and the Sagan that are on the floor, some of there are even aquatic elves down there with you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, your bodies are being pulled away from the grate as the water sucks at you and the water level continues to plummet. Some of them are sucked away from the grate. Uh, some of them minus their hands. There's a lot of underwater screaming going on. Flip back to you guys. <laughs> oh, you didn't can... work out as planned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Am I still uh, <laughs> out? <laughs> no, you're awake in the chair. Wait, wait, what chair? Remember, you're in the room. You're in the room. The room. Oh. Did we ever fucking leave here? And... You see that come out of the darkness. Oh, Jesus. Are we in (laughs) in the chair where we had all those crazy visions and shit? No, you're in the room that Temujin goes to. I thought you just matrixed us. I was going to be so mad. (laughs) (laughs) It was a dream all along. (laughs) And that's if you would have done what you would have done. You never left. (laughs) You're still in the library. (laughs) (laughs) You only thought you were better at these things. Undo Uh, the moon. Oh, so really what actually happened is there was all the towers opened up. You you fucking hit me with a hammer from 600 feet up. I was trying to fucking save you. It's complicated. What the fuck is that? So what you see is first you see the human figure that looks like Oz, right? Mm-hmm. And you get the feeling that there's like stuff moving in the darkness behind him. And then he lifts up off the floor... And you can see more clearly the tentacles attached to his back. 
Um, and as he moves up off the floor, this moves into view, and he has subsumed his human figure into the abdomen of this massive thing. Mm. Uh, pleasure to see you again. The pleasure is, that is all mine. a pentagram in his stomach? Carved into his stomach? Well, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go camera, go. <laughs> go camera, go. I can't tell. Oh, there you go. That's a good shot. Mm. You hear in your mind. You look a little fucking different than last time. The pleasure is all mine. I don't. <sighs> you don't what? I don't hear that. Uh, oh, you don't want to hear it. Uh-oh. Instead, you start to have a splitting headache. The pain is enormous. The entity in the crown whispers to you. Uh, <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> keeping so him out is good. damaging me. I don't even know who you are. I say in my mind to the crown. Okay. <laughs> this is not fucked up at all. <laughs> yeah. How many conversations can we have? <laughs> so he just starts going, oh, oh, oh. Who oh. can betrayed me? Me. No, oh, him. Oh. I mean, you you can't betray someone if you know that you're not on the same side. That's like, that's like the mouse saying that the lion betrayed you. <laughs> um, he did. He struck you down. Yeah, I know. It, am I here? Because my face hurts here. You are not here. You are currently plummeting uh, to your doom below you. I'm like holding my head. I'm like, why the fuck am I here? The crown is like, let him in, let him in. Oh, I don't even hear that, do I? I don't hear any of this. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <Nope. laughs> so yeah. you're just doing this. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. <laughs> yep. Just sticking your finger so far into your ear that you have a splitting headache. That your ear is going to start bleeding soon. Um, uh, so normally you don't show up until after I hit the ground. In this equivalent exchange. He's trying to pull me free of your side. Ah, bastard. He's, he does have a little bit of gumption. Good on him. Is that why you're giving him the old uh, the headache over there? No, that's his fault. He's oh. somehow holding me out. You knew that. He shouldn't be able to. Uh, look at that. Oh, Lord. Two victories in one fell swoop. <laughs> I mean, you can, he's you can a, hear him talking. He's a piece of shit for hitting me with a hammer, of course, but it seems like since then he's done quite well for I himself. I think he's trying to, and a bunch of tentacles come up, save you. Hmm. Dumb bastard. Should I eat him? Well, did you eat the thing that I just sent over to you. That I had to kill it. That doesn't have any... Well, at least I wasted it. It doesn't do anything good for you. Uh, I mean, it was delicious. Can I have whatever he's got that keeps you out of my head? <laughs> <laughs> you mean, could you take it from him? Depends what it is. He has a crown upon his head. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here it doesn't matter, right? You're not actually here. I no, but I try to feel for it. <laughs> you can feel a crown on his head. Oh, look at that! Think you're yeah. invisible. I'm still holding. No, he's my not head. really. He's not really aware of what's going on. He's kind of jacked up. Lauren, are you trying to save me? Fuck you! Yeah, that's a sight. It doesn't sound like he's trying to save me. I think that's what he thinks. Mm-hmm. We need to get out of here. How do you get out of here? I like pinch my cheek. Uh, usually, I just start swearing at him, and eventually, he gets bored. Get so, go. should I eat him, or do you want him to continue on his path of folly? It's your choice. Uh, 
when he hits the ground. Is your attention going to give him a chance to live? Or do you mean eat him, eat him? <laughs> I mean eat him, eat him. We've come to the point in this little game and the tentacles kind of like come together where the stakes sort of start to go up. So at this point, I mean, eat him, eat him. Just so you know, if I do, it will only be this him in this reality. There are many other realities in which he makes different decisions or you make different decisions or I do different things. Although in most of them, I'm consistent. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not even really him anymore. Can you take back the thing that keeps waking me up every time I try to fall asleep or take enough damage to almost die? You mean you want to die? You can get rid of my upgrades. You can have him, too. You want both of you to die? I certainly don't want to remember sacrificing him on a platter. Should I lie? Eat him. It's like Norn cookie. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking for, but <laughs> I I know what you mean by should I lie? Of course you do. I'm gonna try to hit him. Who? You're gonna try him? to hit Not you. I already hit you. Yep. Okay. You stand up and move towards him. You stumble try weakly to, like, in that general direction. Force the headache away. Okay. And do I have my hammer? Hmm. Sweet, because I don't want to punch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to get really close. Have your shield equipped? To hit him. Yeah, right. Equip I your equip shield. my shield. <laughs> you don't have an action to hit him then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just say, Warden, if there's a time that you can help me, I'm at the enemy's doorstep and I need everything you can give me. And I brandish my hammer and I try to hit him. Okay. Roll the strike. Can I intercede? Uh, let's move in initiative order. Okay. So. Natural one. <laughs> Did you botch rolls again? <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay. I talked him into <laughs> going for it. He prones himself in front of him. As usual, when a it double counts, botch. A double botch. To end Ryan. the campaign for Warren. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we are in another tower, right? So. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Oh, oh you're not no. wearing your shirt. Yeah, nope. I, should have the I like shirt. brandish my hammer up high, as no one obviously can mistake my action for yeah, right. screaming at Oz at the top of my lungs. <laughs> and then you hit yourself in the And head. I say a short prayer to Morden out loud because I thought I was being quiet, but obviously I wasn't. <laughs> Morden, bless me as I strike down your foe. <laughs> Basically. God damn it. <laughs> what, do you do? what do you do? What happens? Well. I botched. That's what I did. Yeah. So as you run forward to strike at Oz, some of the tentacular growths that uh, are part of the floor rise up and trip you when you stumble forward into a nest of his crotch tentacles. Oh, that's nasty. Which, <laughs> <laughs> which okay. Okay. wrap around you and pull you towards his mass. I hit him. <laughs> I mean, you're caught. Pop. You don't hit him. You rolled a one. That's your turn. Well. Okay. What do you do? He's being sucked into Azlagan's tentacle groin. Oblivion is all I ask. <laughs> he's asking for you to lie. <laughs> <laughs> is that what he's asking for? Uh, 
and I Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast too. Like this. You do? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope to erase everything. <laughs> Why? So you put your hands on your head yeah. and you Eldritch Blast? Hands. What the? My face and my hands. Dude. Mm. Okay. And, I, and I, as I listen to the sounds of the slurping, crunching of what was once Orin. <laughs> Still? What? Still. <laughs> So, okay, you do. You blow, holes, you blow holes in your head, holes back to the other side, and for a minute, everything kind of winks out as there's a searing pain through oh, your no, eyes. Oh, no, and then I gets. heal. Oh, no. He didn't do <laughs> And what you see as you're struggling against the tentacles, you watch him blow holes in his head. You can literally see the bookcases behind him, and then black tentacles fill the spaces and heal him. Oh, that's just lovely. And you're back. <laughs> Do it twice in one round. That's how you have to do it. <laughs> I did do it twice. <laughs> yeah, he do did. Do it three times in one round. I don't have any more actions. I'm going to help. <laughs> <laughs> gonna help. Bless him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you I would ask you three times. So if you really want this to be the end for you and your companion, then I can make that happen. Just know that if the door closes on you, it closes on me as well. And I can no longer protect your world from my siblings. The experiment will continue apace without my interference. Oh, sweet variable. So tired. <laughs> know also that if I end you now your friend will follow you into the endless abyss of my gaping law <laughs> he's now curtained in crotch tentacles you can only see like the back of his feet as he's being pulled upward and inward But I, I can feel do... the back of my head where everything is growing. Back. Do, I have, do I have an action yet? <laughs> sure. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can Ironically, do anything. It doesn't matter. Ironically, yeah. Oz isn't wearing any pants. True story. Oz is not wearing any pants. Oz, he's part of the Breakfast Club, obviously. Yes. He's not only a member. He's, the He's also the president. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cast have, spell magic on us. It's an eye game for okay. all of us, and that is Actually, Josh's avatar. I'd like to do it on myself. You need to spell magic on yourself. Whatever's controlling my thoughts or bringing me here, or I crown. okay. You just spell magic on yourself. So you're gonna come around, falling, plummeting from the sky. You're elbow deep <laughs> into Temujin's side. And the tentacles have wrapped up to the side of your face, and some of them are probing oh, your ear off, off. and probing your nose, but you are part of him. I pull my hand out? You can't. God you continue to damn fall. It. <laughs> I take out the wand of web. <laughs> <laughs> it's time! Wand of web. So he's falling attached to your side. He winks right. out. Whoop! From Oz's groin. Oz looks down and he goes, How curious. And such ingenuity. Mm -hmm. Next time, you gotta try to save the world. <laughs> I will only ask you one more time. Don't ask next time. <laughs> I ask you. Yeah. you wake up. I, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you guys are falling. <laughs> Get your elbow out of me! Like, so long! He's, he's into his elbow, he's in your side. There's not enough room for the rest of his arm to be in your diminutive side. He's in you to his elbow. I try to push you away. Okay, you do. By blasting you off at the elbow. <laughs> what? It's not gonna fucking work! You're gonna I'm trying to grab off the, the elbow? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he puts both of his hands around your elbow and <laughs> severs your arm at the elbow. Does he hit me? I mean, yeah, he's gonna grab <laughs> your he's it. gonna wrap his arms around your elbow. You're, you're me. We'll get it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so. 
Okay, your arm. Don't keep so that roll thing. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> roll damage. Roll damage. Two d ten plus your modifier uh, twice. Seven plus seven is fourteen. Plus six plus six is twelve. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. 29 damage. He severs your arm with the elbow. 26. Cool. Alright, well, we didn't need that. So, how many hit points do I have? Uh, what? Whatever you had when you went out. Zero? Oh, <laughs> one. Turn. You have a hit point. Ooh, you might die. You might actually die. I might. What? Fall damage. If it is twice as maximum hit points. Mm-hmm. My maximum, I have 51 max. If so you take over 100 damage from the fall. It's be close. I was like, I don't know how much I'm screaming or saying. <laughs> I don't want to blow everyone's ears up, but <laughs> as I'm falling, I'm like, you lived in a fucked up world. <laughs> like, cast web before we hit the ground. What is no, web? do it at any point that I designate. No, you don't. It's a tune what? <laughs> so you tried to use the <laughs> Brian, you're an evil fucking genius, dude. You're an evil fucking genius. Holy right. shit. Well, we're both gonna die. Holy okay. shit. Uh, I do have a question. What happened? Before we hit, I cast the healing. <laughs> You're going to have to give me two more strength checks. How okay. many rounds do we have before we hit the ground? Uh, that's a nine and a five. Okay. You're torn free from the grate and pulled uh, <laughs> <laughs> up into the mat, which is rushing down towards you guys with a lot of force. Not only that, but when you hit the mat, some of the vines and roots that are drifting down are going to wrap around you and start to constrict. So... This might be the only time you can ever die. Mm-hmm. Five, ten, no, fourteen damage. from about two seconds ago. <laughs> and you are restrained. Okay, so you guys are going to fall into the mat. You're going to take 12d6 worth of damage. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I want to heal myself. Before you hit? Yeah, before. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> How many times can I do it? Uh, Once. Fuck. Fuck. You spent Since a little bit of time hanging out in the, I was in like, the tentacle mess. I was like, we're going to hit the... Oh, shit. <laughs> you're like, pull out your oh, you're, the wall, you're like, you're all fuck, cocky. fuck, 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 shit. I got this. It's, how high up were we? You guys started off over 600 feet up. It's... But we were falling while we were in the dream. Right. I thought it was 20 D6 that caps at. Is that what caps at? Okay. I think it is. Don't quote me on that. Quick chat. Help. <laughs> falling damage cap. 12d6 seems low. It does. I'm pretty sure we were 200 feet or more up. You were. To maximum of 20d6. Yep, okay. 20d6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So All I right. got 8 here. Wait, 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 wait. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Shit. 9 health. Wait. Yep, 9. No, oh, that's a 4, not a 1. Unless he rolls all sixes, you're well, probably good. Yeah, no, cause... that's... No. Well, Orn might not be. Oops. That was the wrong... He's got to go to not <laughs> yeah. die immediately. Oh, you mean to true death. Oh, well, you're going to get eaten by the... Oh, the you're going to land on the, the trees. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I guess it also depends on how close to them I am as well. Mm. Sorry. You're not going to see us in the I whole I got a new character for you guys. <laughs> 10, 20, 32, 39, 78 damage. Oh. Hey, I don't outright die. What's up? I don't outright die? No, you don't outright die. 78? Oh, yeah. You're out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. He doesn't even have that many HP. Just, we both. Well, 78 move. would be more than your max. Um. Is it twice? Yeah, max? because I'm at, I'm no, at just, one. Just if you hit so your if max. I took, and damage. So if I take. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think it's double your max. No, it's yeah. just your max. Okay. Yeah, see. So since I was starting out at one, right. if I you just had go, full zap. health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only I had a fucking cleric for a friend. Oh. 
He's I, trying I heal, to be a friend. I heal me. <laughs> He's trying to be a friend. We tried. Okay. So, uh, so you're in the room again. Oh yeah, excessive of maximum hit points. You're nope. you're in the room again. Negative. <laughs> and Oz is like, well, that was quick. <laughs> so this is the third time. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to ask? Told you not to. Fair. <laughs> Take a piece of horn okay. with you. <laughs> yeah. He eats you. <gasps> what? Brian. Man. You hit the mat. My only regret is that I didn't get to hit you with the avocado in that brief moment. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Give me death saves until you either pass or don't. You know what's going to happen. Okay. You survive. Don't botch. They hit you. It's not a botch. Okay. I'll just keep track of my head. Yeah, just keep track. It's not a botch. Okay. I died. Okay. Three in a row. Hmm. Or dies. But at least I don't get eaten. <laughs> That's I true. <laughs> Drink safe? Uh, I try spared, to bring it free. your eternal yeah. soul. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you took a piece of me with you. So you're in the bottom of the rush oh, yeah. mat. Mm-hmm. Know you're <laughs> being constricted by roots. There are Sogian that are hitting the mat around you that are being sucked up, and they're in a feeding frenzy. There's blood everywhere. They're totally insane, and they're going to lash out at you every round that you can't get out. So go ahead and roll a strength saving throw. Uh, 17 plus... It's going to be at least plus 3. Okay. Yeah, plus 3. So 20. So you do. You break 3. Okay. So you, you break free the roots. Uh, the water level is still dropping. Do you attempt to reach the bottom? Uh, Yeah, I would have to. Okay, so you move away. Some of them are going to get attacks opportunity on you. They have advantage. Uh, How do I do this? Advantage. Okay. Crit. Oh, no. It's happening. (laughs) It's happening, guys. (laughs) Miss. Hit. Uh, What's the to hit? To hit uh, 18? Uh, My AC is 19. With a shield equipped or no? Uh... I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. Oh, wait. No, I do have the Sentinel shield. So that would be 17. With right. That. Okay. So crit, hit, and then I got to the last one. I think this last one's a miss. Uh, yep, miss. So let's do the crit. Uh, here we go. Doesn't need 13 damage. Puts a spear through your side. And the hit is seven damage. So 20 overall. Yep, so spear, spear. Mm-hmm. The ones that are uh, down, hanging onto the grate, are also snapping at each other wildly. And there's just blood everywhere. Dead Sagan are falling away from the grate. Is there a free space to grab on the bottom or no? Not. That's not within reach of somebody. Hmm. The best you could do is within reach of two of them. That's if you want to get to the grate this turn with your movement. If you want to like go diagonal over to the side, maybe there's something you don't know. But at that point, you have to keep fighting the undertow without being able to hang out of the grate. The DC will be much higher. Uh, so the dro- water level is still dropping? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually going to cast Shatter right below me, where all the Sagan are grabbing the grate. Cool. Roll for two. Constitution saves. Mm -hmm. They both fail. They just are supposed to move away from you, right? Shatter? Yeah. Uh, They take 3d8 thunder damage. Okay. You, You pulp them. Okay. Now I have an open spot to grab hold of. Now you do. Grab hold of it. Uh, give me two more strength saves. <laughs> Eleven and seven. Welcome aboard. Okay, hey, you're gonna get yanked back up into the rush mat. Uh, you hit it, and it's gonna wrap around you and, ex- and restrain you. Okay. Uh, Tomorrow will be all right. 
Whenever it's my next turn, I'm gonna pull out my cannon. And it's gonna be a flamethrower. Sweet. Meanwhile, uh, you guys are in the room beyond the door. As soon as the door is closed, the water level starts to drop. You can feel it being sucked through the grate below your feet. <sighs> I've left him down. It's all your fault. Myron is crying. All you know is that you close the door. What's Gil doing? Trying to comfort her. <laughs> yeah, what is Gil doing? Uh, I'm just like holding my hand on the door, like just like this. Every now and then you hear like on the other side of the door, and then it's quiet. Gil. You take Myra Linda to safety. The door's that way. I'll open the door for you. Or Myra Linda will be able to open the door for you. Get her out of the tower. You'll do. I'm going to go say that. <laughs> Come join us. <laughs> He'll do. <laughs> he, he looks like teary eyed. He takes her and starts walking down the other end of the hallway. Okay, you're re restrained at this point from the bottom of. Pretend like this is the ceiling mm -hmm. that you're attached to. Mm hmm. All right, we'll just do this. You're being restrained. The water level is starting to move north again. From the underneath of the root mat, this happens. Hmm. Only three of them? For now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check a couple things here. Why is he on his back? Because he's restrained by the roots. <coughs> oh, no. This is the ceiling. So I create the flamethrower. Yep. And a 15 foot cone. Each creature in the area must make a deck save. If I can hit two of them at once, I will. Sure, you can. And uh, they have to make a deck save. Otherwise, they take 2d8 damage. Uh, the fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. You guys so. are underwater. Yeah. One of them makes it, the other one doesn't. So it's 2d8. So one takes seven damage, the other one takes three. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I believe that's my action. Okay. So they have advantage to strike at you. We'll go this way, around the circle. Ready? Mm -hmm. Starting here. So he's going to hit. And then miss. The hit is going to be 19 damage. Okay. He spears you with a bunch of his roots. The next one. Oh, miss. And 17. 17 is my AC without the shield. Okay. So it's going to hit you and he's going to do 19 damage. Yep. And I'm down. Okay. The door opens. Water rushes into the hallway. You swim out and you, as you watch the water level rise and you can look up and you see Axe being carried away underneath of the root net and you see three of those root creatures ripping him into pieces and pulling him apart and tearing chunks of him <laughs> off and ripping his arm free. One of them has his skull uh, by the eye sockets that it pulls off the rest of his body. 
And then you open the door. <laughs> <laughs> go back in. Go back in. Go back in. Oh, and I just shoot right towards them. Okay. And when I get close enough, I'm going to rage and do all the things. You do rage and do all the things. And then you die. It's 1130. <laughs> you fight valiantly. You hack and slash. You destroy as many of them as you possibly can. And by the time they bring you low, the root mat is in shambles. At one point, one of them hefts you under the surface of the root mat. And you see the bodies of your friends, Orin, Temujin, spread across the top of the mat like so much toe jam. And then you are unfortunately done away with. The end. The end, he says. And that, friends, is how you end a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> but I had another character. <laughs> we'll do one shot next week, and then it's you. One. Why do I do the one shot? No, no, we'll do one shot next week, right? Oh. One shot, and then week off, and then yeah, then you. Well, then surgery, and then wait, wait, the week wait, after wait, that, wait, and we'll see. Maybe no epic shot. fight for Tama. That was your epic fight. Yeah. Good job. There is. I only had fifteen hit points. It was yeah. Huh. That's the end. Shit. <laughs> Everybody's so quiet. Shit. Sorry, guys. You know, are you, are you sorry? You're not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. You made this campaign. I knew this was gonna, how it was going to end the whole time. Yeah, this one, this by definition had a finite timeline on it. You Next don't time. win against Elder Gods. It's just, yeah, it's like winning against time or... The one time I get to play in a long-term campaign is the unwinnable one. <laughs> yep. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, would you guys have rather gone out like that or just gone out like mid-session where I was like, I'm not doing it next I week. I did go it's out mid-session. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens to Gil and Meyer Linda, though? What happens to Gil and Meyer Linda? Well, we don't know. <laughs> you don't know. They may, I mean, they may that's save the end the world of the story. It's like for... So, you know what eventually happens to them? Come to the end. That's the end of the story. You don't know what happens. Well, I'm going <laughs> to pretend that Meyer Linda made You can make the own... You can make yeah. the end into your story. She turns... She gives she's, birth to half-goblin babies. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're, it's welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. <Yeah. laughs> It's like uh, I've rewritten the end of Game of Thrones from what I've seen. I just rewrote it in my mind. This is how I want it to happen. Sure. Yeah, you guys can totally attend, pretend that Myrland and Gil make it out through the tower, make it back outside, get past the two Leviathans that are still battling in the water because three days are nothing to them. They could battle for a hundred years and it would seem like an eye blink. Get back to land, save everyone, and go on to live happily ever after. That's exactly what happens. There you and go. it wouldn't have been a, <laughs> wouldn't have been a, done without us. We helped. We're helping. Hey, you can't leave yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta do roses, and roses thorns. and thorns. You should start. You're the DM <laughs> of the unwinnable campaign. Uh, okay, um, roses. You all die. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting so long to kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh... Yeah, I don't know. I think that yeah, my rose is that you all died. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, no, no, I like the way that it ended. I like the fact that it sort of wrapped itself up, kind of. Um, Temujin wished for death. Orin kind of killed them both. After he tried to save Temujin. Uh, I mean, sort of. I'm I helping. Mean, he hit me with a hammer while we were flying 600 feet above right. the surface of an... I had a plan. <laughs> I might have waited until you guys got closer to the mat. Okay. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. You could have you just waited. Um, <laughs> oh, we'll wait till my turn. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Thorn? Uh... The cam whoring for inspiration really gets me. I, I feel uncomfortable with that. Mm. I think Matt. you should get inspiration through the, you know, through uh, whatever your normal deeds are. You know what I mean? Like, I for... to do them, chat. <laughs> you You're going to have your chance you soon. Me. You're going to love me. You're going to love being on this side of the table. Oh, I already know a few roses. This is going to be great. Okay. All right. I'm done. That's it. I got what I got. <laughs>
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thorn. Hmm. Unwinnable campaign? That's not quite my Thorn. I would understand, though. Not being able to give my monologue before I hit Temujin, that's probably... <laughs> <laughs> You wrote this on game three. <laughs> no, but I did have some stuff I never talked about in Orin's past that was uh, not awful, but he was kind of a snitch and mm-hmm. a coward. And mm-hmm. he got his friends locked up to save his own face and to get out of jail early. Mm-hmm. And no one ever learned that. And I was going to do that, but I was like, I can't do that with a straight face and then smack you down with a hammer. <laughs> By the way, I'm a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you about that one time? <laughs> I betrayed all my friends. <laughs> Swipe. <laughs> I couldn't do it and have you not be surprised at that point. Right. Uh, I mean, you can have a you can have a monologue moment. That's, that's acceptable. Thorn. I didn't want to hit you. I was actually contemplating it for like a good 10 minutes. Like, this is the time. This is the time. We're alone. You're at one hit point. Or five. (laughs) Or whatever it is. You're one hit away. That's it, yeah. If there's any chance I can pull this thing out of you against your will, this is it. Mm -hmm. And it didn't happen. That was kind of sad. It's kind of neat the way... If it had worked, you would have been the hero. If it didn't work, you would have been the arms snitch deep in a trying to save yourself. <laughs> and it kind of both ways played into your character. Ah, uh, well. So Legend of Orin. So yeah, again. Rose. I forced myself to hit you. I <laughs> felt bad, but it kind of felt like it had to be done. Sort of bad good. Not in a, like, I'm satisfied that I hit my friend type of way, but more like, it's outside of the boundaries of what I'm comfortable with. I just like that it was conflicted. <laughs> it when you st- not too long ago, you were enthusiastically doing that exact thing. Well, when you were trying to kill me, mm-hmm. I felt like we kind of bonded over that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, when you totally, when you dropped it, when you were like, I hit him, and the, for a minute, the whole table just stopped, that was really good. <laughs> There was a few of those. That's because I didn't want to say it. I was Mm -hmm. like, fuck. I hit him. And I was like, what? (laughs) (laughs) But that's my rose. That's definitely outside of my boundaries of comfort for role playing or for humanity. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Go ahead, Matt. Oh, man. (laughs) There was a lot of good stuff. A lot of. Bad stuff, too. <laughs> There's a lot of good what stuff. What was your favorite and your least favorite? Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, like, visually, like, I think my favorite was uh, Tamat m- making the choice, and I just see the door in front of me shut as axe. It's just like, all of a sudden, just like a... <sighs> Like a cloud meat of sauce in the meat water. sauce mm-hmm. as the the jaws shutting, and it's just like, oh my fucking! That gave me like actual chills. Like that was, mm. oh shit. Um, so visually, that was my favorite. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, you like you pull out some gems in visuals. And oh, thanks, man. I like it. Um, uh, as for the thorn, you know, Josh, I knew as soon as, I don't know, 7 o'clock, maybe 6.30 Saturday morning uh, after our text. <laughs> you were like, we're all going to die. Like, we're going to die. There's no, Josh doesn't. Josh doesn't hide spoilers. He he just blurts them out. We, we, we kind of, we're, we're going to try. We, we're going to try to keep this as long as we could. But yeah, I still want to. Survive. I wasn't. I was like 50-50. It's like he's gonna do it. He's gonna pull the trigger or not. It was the longest you know? game I've ever run. I think. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. It was great. It is um, definitely the longest game you've ever. But run. thorn. But the thorn would be um, my cleric doesn't heal anybody. <laughs> anybody. Well, you should not leave the party. <laughs> I've been right next to you, and then we're like, ah. Oh. 
you split the party. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got oh, so on. mad at me like How 10 many... games ago for me splitting the party, and you did exactly what I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. Um, so, like, here's here's the thing, Ryan. You're 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 a wonderful person, a dear friend. Oh, there we go. Um, but you hate Orin. But, but man, to be fair, Orin was <laughs> a, be fair. Orin was a Orin was a coward. Oh yeah, right. Wow. He was definitely he a was coward. Like, I said so. He <laughs> said, "Shit, door." No, I just I, I loved all the characters. I'm sad to see these characters die. That's my thorn. Really, uh, uh, Orin was a great character, right? Uh, uh, Axe was a great character. He always had the comic relief. Um, and amazing things. Temujin put a crown on Ryan sometimes because he comes up with, like, and is, is as angry as we get at him sometimes because he has some <laughs> fucking secrets, right? Um, well, at least next campaign. His about characters secrets. are just like, they're just interesting as shit. So, like, I'm sad, Thorn, that the, we don't get to play these characters anymore because they have been a lot of fun to play. And a ro- my second rose is, is, is this is the first campaign that I've went through and come to a beginning and an end. So this is the second great. one. We didn't end the, the first one. Garavan just came to yeah, <laughs> Oh, that's true. Right, but Garavon but at the, at the same time, we d- we didn't end that one. That was it, uh, it kind of ended. No, it, it ended, but it wasn't. There's no resolution. It petered out. Right, it petered mm-hmm. out. Right, there was no resolution. This one beginning end. I liked it. No middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The end. yeah. I'm sorry. That was a long, long-winded no, thing as a kind of send off to Josh. So, so uh, funny thing is, I realized after we finished the game that I had fly in my ring, mm-hmm. and I could have cast it from the ring and flew sixty. Mm-hmm. Is that your thorn? <laughs> that was, so that was probably my thorn. <laughs> You're like, I could have lived. I could have lived. But I am I mean, it would have been a mute point anyway. We're at the bottom of the ocean with those things fighting. We wouldn't have been able to get out. I mean, we could have maybe stayed there for 10 days and got a long rest after getting back in the recharging the rod and maybe made a run for it then. But I think either way it would have ended. So, I'll say my actual thorn is probably everyone dying. But, uh... Rose, I'm... It's hard to pick out, like, a specific thing. Like, overall, the entire campaign was a good campaign. It's just... A weird flavor? (laughs) Oh, sure. I guess... Alex loves that abstract. Yeah, not so much a fan of that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'll say overall the campaign was fun. I liked playing the character. Cool. I I think my rose is kind of an extension of the whole campaign. Um, While it seemed like it started off as an eye campaign and then Definitely got away from it. We <laughs> dug into the characters in ways that did sort of suit. Uh, like, like you became this like ever-present helper who doesn't ever want a ton of attention, but like mm-hmm. always like fix and grease everything in the background. Um, and <laughs> even when we don't want you to help, <laughs> even, when, even when Ryan and I are getting just a little self-destructive, which we're trying to may kill each other, we stop healing us <laughs> in hand out of game. Um, like I mean, Temujin was like sniveling and cowardly, and by by the end, desperately, desperately wanted to just die and be left alone. And it's hard to make that guy at all relatable. And so you guys playing along and sort of buying into it was nice. Um, and that 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 part is where I deviate a little bit from the eye game campaign. That's not like a hidden <laughs> cry for help at the end. Right. By the way, I want just, to die. Just please leave me alone. <laughs> Let's be doc. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, 
I mean, and to have, I mean, each of us were more, more our characters than I think we were for like, there was like a gap where it lulled out and we're like, ah, oh, well, we started off as an eye campaign, no big deal. But then it went on long enough that we got to really dig into them. And so that, that was probably my favorite part. Um, the thorn, the thorn is also kind of a rose when you get stuck in a corner where you don't feel like you have any choices. Like when Ozagon, the great old one, is staring you down, like, do you want to go pretend to save the world for a little while longer, or can I just begin to torment your soul eternally now? You're like, those aren't choices. <laughs> <laughs> they are. It's like, would you rather? Would, would you, you rather, rather be eaten alive by lobsters or by sea urchins? You're like, that's not, that's not a... They're both bad. Yeah, why, why is... Why does it lobsters, matter then? Lobsters. Yeah. Lobsters. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I guess in the end I got to spare Orin from immediately going into the tentacly void. Who knows how long that lasts. For you, huh? um, Apparently. Yeah. So, I, at the same time, that makes for kind of hard choices are good. Sometimes a no-win choice is, is, is not good. Is less good. <laughs> I mean, it was the last game. The, it was obviously the last game. I think we could have pulled I, out a couple more. <laughs> and I even, <laughs> no. I even threw up the middle finger one last time by going back and letting us fall to our death <laughs> just to <laughs> deny him the possibility of eating us straight away. Which has kind of been the thing for him I was him hoping lately. you'd splat and you'd be done with him, too. It, it is an outside chance, but... Apparently I was not. pretty sure that once he has you on a fish hook, it doesn't matter how much of you is left. <laughs> the hook's got your goo on it. Well, yeah. from what I he saw, there wasn't much back. of you left. He could build them back from, like, smear. Mm -hmm. He'll either drink you through a straw or chew you up. I one saw you blast your brains out, and then it just grew back. Yeah, but that must improved. have been fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> when I was seeking any way out, I <laughs> shot the back of my head off, only to... Go back and have to make filled with tentacles. Again. How did Brian get Osgon? It wasn't it a botch, like a hard botch. I don't remember how the whole thing started. I think a, it was like medallion. a double one or something like that. Oh, oh. yeah, the medallion and like, I think like Iker was in his mouth or something or... like that. Yeah, I I think I started by trying to psychically detect thoughts or communicate with it, and it, I got you know one of those double botches where it's like oh. He's he's noticed you. <laughs> yeah, something bad happened. I don't remember. Epic bad. But it, it was, yeah, like session three or something. Because it was, Cause it was like, ago. here's, we started off so lighthearted. Remember mm -hmm. how, like, how lighthearted <laughs> it was? <laughs> we're like, hey, we're at a fair. Uh, Tamat broke the little thing and it was, yeah, yeah, he's strong. And like, we're just yeah. fixing things. Temujin's stealing dolls. You know, <laughs> like, it was so, it's such it's a, a lighthearted campaign. Part. Okay. Turned <laughs> very dark very fast. Yeah, this was the also the first game that I played so much with actual oh. monsters. Yeah, have you ever opened a monster manual before that when you're DMing? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Not very much. So that was kind of fun. Like reskinning them or changing things about them was kind of neat. Well, before we take off, we'll <laughs> do some quick shout outs for. Uh, some of our followers, and then we'll go over some announcements and we'll take off. I remember we left off where Matt was trying to pronounce something. What was your favorite moment of the whole game before we head off? Mine favorite was moment. mine was uh, the water elemental. <laughs> I, that yeah, my that was, God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about that is that I I I've traced like Tamat's hate back to like magic like. Like it was kind of a theme for Tamat. Moment. I yeah. was like, "Oh, this like totally makes sense." And now we have to like destroy magic. So he's like, "Oh, about it. Yeah. yeah, that was a cool. <laughs> Ryan, that got was super a lot of great. moments. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else go. <laughs> oh, um, I gotta say, I kind of liked when you two were trying to kill each other and I was just like, shield, oh. here, shield, here. <laughs> feather fall so you don't die. Yep, heal. Feather fall, heal. Have some temporary hit points. You're like the, uh, 
You were a very good utility of us just hitting each other with wet mops. <laughs> yeah, like, it was like a pillow fight. Yep, it mm -hmm. turned into a pillow fight. We were trying, though. Oh, man. I don't even know my favorite. I don't know my favorite. I had, like, so many awesome... Like, I really liked playing Tamai. That was... It was so much fun. He was a cool character. It was fun. It was, like, the hot tits. That was funny. Right? Breaking that guy's machine in the first episode. That was awesome, right? I love being a barbarian. I love it. Loved it. Um, God, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't have a favorite. I can't do it. Okay. That's too tough. I think my favorite moment. Talk to police? Oh, that was a good oh, that one. Was pretty good. I have some yeah. good moments. That was I'm not good. gonna lie, that <laughs> but that's not my favorite moment. Although it was great for laughs, I think my favorite moment was when Oren was headed down to the tower, the very first tower, and he was just backed into a corner with no options. He has to get in there, but there's dwarves everywhere, and they're gonna catch him. They know he's not with Mallory's group because they know he's lying, and he reached out to Mord, and he just. Yeah, I got nothing here. Can you help me out at all? Is there anything you can do? And that's a different part of role playing that I'm not used to is not using the mechanics to my benefit, but just using the role play to my benefit. And it worked. But it was fun. And uh Morden came to help me and he sounded the alarms and I killed the entire city and a bunch of people <laughs> after that. And my family. And your family. <laughs> Brian. I'm um, just kind of skimming over the notes. Oh, he's got so many notes. You can't skim over those notes in the uh, day. It's not really happening quite this fast. Oh, I had um, another moment that I remembered. Ripping off my arm to fit myself in my own bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, ripping that off arms, not my favorite <laughs> the, moment. The escape, <laughs> the escape from that prison was pretty mm -hmm. epic, dude. Because yeah. I, Josh was like this close from killing us all then. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, I think Josh just likes killing us. Some all. <laughs> some ingenuity from Alex prolonged this campaign another five months. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> like seriously, that's what it did. That was all over right there. We weren't going to make it out of that thing. It was bad. <sighs> Can we talk about your <laughs> Temujin's favorite moment? <laughs> Temujin's favorite moment, which is probably the children. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was rough. It, that's another me. You there. know, Kid you know. Her. Yeah, you it know. Up there. Children. Up there. Yeah. I knew full well what's going on. I think actually the kind of the hungry chapter was probably my favorite. And I was just trying to flip through, and I saw kind of at the beginning where it was so lighthearted. Me sitting on top of a tree, throwing avocados at you guys, getting them stuck on your neck. Like, ha, 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 ha. And then it ended with the, that same avocado, like, sucking the life force out of Adder uh, in this weird half-rotten glade off by himself, sacrificing his own life to give his child a chance. And it was this, like, the same mechanic but the tone shifted completely. Um, yeah, it was so, a lot more sad. Yeah. Where, I mean, I was literally pelting you guys in the neck with those things until you shot me out of the tree that and I face planted. <laughs> and then that same mechanic was like a symbol of sacrifice and uh, the next generation having a better chance than this one, etc. Sweet. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you guys letting me run a campaign. I appreciate and now, you someone else can. Who's doing it, by the way, next week? Yeah, who's doing the one shot? one shot? I think Matt called the one shot. Nah, don't you have something going don't on? Don't you remember when Matt said, I call a, the next one you, shot? I think Do you want me Ryan to do a one shot with one everybody? Shot? I think do you have a one shot going? I don't know. I, I everybody has something. Um, I had more Brian, like a three Brian, to four. I've done it once. Yeah. I'd be Brian. horrible. I'm horrible at it. So I think... <laughs> It wasn't that bad. It was horrible. <laughs> okay. We fought something. Um, we had a puzzle to solve. There were keys stitched inside of people's bodies. It wasn't the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed that one. I wasn't there. Yeah, that's why there was a one shot. <laughs> yeah, because I was gone. Yeah, Brian, um, why don't you come up sure, with something? Sure, we can. I can always come up with something. Um, Even if it runs three or four, like that's okay, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So next week we're here. 
The week after, I'm gone, so everyone's gone. Mm -hmm. It's your house. The yep. week after that, I'm back after surgery, but I might not be ready to run the next campaign. But sure. I will be able to play. And maybe I even, maybe I'll even run a one shot after that because honestly, I'm it. probably not going to be sitting much after that. So I'll be standing over there because it's got a lot of good standing Didn't. room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bring. So one person could have one good bring, one shot. Bring bring a level three goblin. A okay. level yeah, three doing, goblin. Are we doing goblins? <laughs> I always do goblins when, <laughs> when it's a short term. Goblins because are so good. Because, yeah, they're. They're powder kegs. <laughs> you don't have to uh, plan for long term. Oh, awesome. So mm. next week, turn into the goblins. Yeah, we'll Ooh, figure something yeah. out. Yeah, all right. I mean, the last goblin session we had, instead of doing anything you had planned, we'd spent the entire time trying to make chicken you safari. You chased chickens mm -hmm. and chickens celebrated birthday. your birthday over and over. Every birthday every day. Oh my gosh. Like, can, we, can we not do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really good, man. It was so good. <laughs> it was probably more fun to play. Then watch. <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. That, mm. Fair warning next week. Most of those games are more fun to play than watch. Goblin games, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, know, our first hilarious. Goblin campaign was pretty funny. Until mm -hmm. we uh, all um, <coughs> yeah. split the party. Yeah, until we all died, until I fed you to a chair. <laughs> One of we're my really, favorite moments. We're really still. selling this hard for next week, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Level three, you get a feat. And that is all. Okay. And it's a goblin. And it's a goblin. Goblin, I think. And the you don't standard... care about the backstory. They're all gonna die. I mean, have a have a person. Can we do something? I will. Where I will. Not I will dies? give. I will give you guys a thing if you have. If you provide a thing. I don't for think me to give we you. all died in Brian's campaigns. Whenever Josh yeah. runs a one shot, we all die. Oh, I, I or I a long term usually, campaign. Usually you all live. <laughs> you're, just, you're just off yeah. rampaging throughout the world throughout the. I usually don't kill people. Bill Goblin. So yeah. Bill. So you get a feat. And if you give me something to work from, you get a thing. I don't still want to give you an arbitrary thing if I don't know. You're like, I showed up. I'm a wizard. Like, all right, well, I can rip this hammer up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <coughs> so if we tell you what we are. So what, what are you guys going to be for classes? Does it matter? Yeah. We had chicken safari last it time. It totally matters. Of course it matters. <laughs> Uh, I did make a druid. I was kind of interested in doing like a, a non moon druid. Hmm. Goblin druids are cool. They, they, they should do pretty all right with the druid. Hmm. What do goblins get for stats? It's like a. Plus two to dex. Plus one to con, con, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. They also have an ability that's kind of like cowardice where you could uh, disengage as a bonus action. Yep. And run. Yeah. <laughs> And they have Fury of the Small, where mm -hmm. you can deal damage equal to your level. To a creature that's bigger than you. It might have to be bigger than you, but it might not. You might just have to hit it with an attack. Okay. So if we all combined our efforts into one big shot, we could deal an extra 12 damage at level 3. Nice, that's pretty that's epic. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to be a Goblin Barbarian. <laughs> you should be. Maybe you should be, too. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Our strength can only go to a 15. Eh. Unless we get a uh, half feet that gives us plus one of strength. Nah. Or feet. Maybe, matter. maybe Gil comes into this room. <laughs> sure. Should I just be Gil? An alternate dimension Gil? Just, just his arms ripped off? No, no, you should be his Gruz. Gruz. Oh, Gruz. <laughs> okay. I'll be Gil. I'll be Gil. Hmm? You'll be Gil? Yes. I'll be Gruz. Ultimate dimension, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Campaign continues. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be a druid. I'll let you know. You can be Marlinda in a, another dimension. What was Gruz? Gruz was Gruz. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he was Gruz. All right, Gruz, Gruz. So we got some uh, <laughs> bases for next game, and then after that, if I do a one shot, I'll just run a pre-made one shot. So those are pretty easy to get through one well, session. Get, let's get back into the. The theater one. Oh, never mind. That one was creepy. What we was wrong with that? I was dancing one. with. Yeah, that was the best. Was I weird. made dance. Or I made Matt dance with me. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was awesome. a good dude. It was and a before good one. he did it, the guy was like reaching out with his hand. Matt looks at me in the eyes and he goes, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> and then he danced. <laughs> it made my heart leap with joy. 
Ah, that's good. It was so funny. Man, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, Brian, next week, next week. And then you're going to be on that side of the table. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a week break. We just said yeah. that. We just yeah. talked about this. I know, but it's just like... <laughs> yeah, then he's going to be... You know, it was, good, it, it was good having you on this side of the table. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it was great, dude. I, like, I, I freak out. I don't know out. if we were on the same team. <laughs> I, I freak out. I know. But, like, anything I say is always in jest. And, like... That's not it true. Was, it was fun. Sometimes he's actually at level yeah. four. <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand why the cleric didn't heal me right now. I mean, or why he ran away to leave. Temujin should be the yourself. one asking yeah. why didn't the cleric yeah. heal yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I healed Temujin. I think ever. he knew why though. <laughs> For like okay. s- at least eight or nine games. Yeah. I think since Orin came back, he didn't heal Temujin. Mm. And you managed to just and you did that on keep purpose? alive the whole time. <laughs> I don't uh, even know. He couldn't die Sinking anymore. Uh, like, why don't villages. you just die? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're 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 done. Shout outs. We got uh, North of Valhalla, Sharknado, Geek Apostle, Tasselhoff, Claim, The Citrus Side Cycle. Ooh, that was a word. Savda, Wagadado, Dirty Huggies. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Huggies. Well done, Dirty Huggies. You got our attention. That was good. <laughs> Dirty Huggies. We thank you, everyone, for your follows. We appreciate everyone being here every week with us. Um, people that are involving themselves into the next campaign by purchasing stuff with bacon points. Bacon points are free. You can make establishments, you can make NPCs or quests, or you can be like some that have done all the above. And I'll be using those in the next campaign. I'll try to bring your creations to life, and they're going to be exploring that and figuring out what you guys actually made and want to see, apparently. Maybe we'll just kill it by accident, because that (laughs) happens sometimes. Well, as long as it's not the first session, Josh. (laughs) It was a hobgoblin. Fuck hobgoblins, okay? (laughs) It was the second session. But we appreciate everyone that supports us, whether you're actually involving yourself or just here to watch. Do come join us on Discord. We have a Discord channel. You don't have to come and talk or anything. You can just come and hang out in the little uh, chat rooms. How do they find it? It's right under. There's a link below. So just right like now, the fan. Still you can post your favorite D and D memes. Just you like can post fan. music. You can just uh, talk about anything. It hasn't really taken off yet, so it's still gonna be crickets sometimes. But if you guys keep showing up and kind of populating the chat, I think it'll. Oh, be dude, a lot Kim Ma's got some badass art there and That's some true. badass minis. That's true. That she go, has some crazy for art. anything. Just go check her stuff out. And then uh, anyone that's a subscriber, you can be a club member, or any of our patrons will be a club member. And then patrons, patrons, patrons from do Patreon. We, oh, do we have a Patreon? We have a Patreon. Patreon. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. A Patreon. Start, start mm-hmm. donating, dude. Dude. Uh, right. Yeah, Josh, why don't you join <laughs> a Patreon? <laughs> 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 Whoops. Good sell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we really do appreciate everyone. Um. I don't think I have any more announcements. Discord, Patreon, people. Anyone else? Go check out YouTube. Brian's been doing some yeah. map making stuff. That, in, that he's, he's done some really good map making. So I've watched them. I've watched them a couple times, though. I think they're really cool. There's a cool program out called Dungeon Draft where you can make your own maps. It's pretty easy to use. And actually, at 1,000 followers, that's going to be our next giveaway is a free copy of Dungeon Draft to our 1,000. Well, to whoever's there when I give it away, not to the thousandth follower. But yeah, we'll give it away and we'll be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. It will randomly pop, you know, whatever to whoever's in the thing and yeah. blah, blah, blah. So whatever if you're in our are. chat at a thousand followers, then the next week when we hit that goal, we'll do the giveaway. That way everyone has a chance to come join us when the giveaway happens. Not just like at a thousand followers. Right. So yeah. there'll be a week in between. And then that's that was good. That's all I have for real. We appreciate y'all. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Mm